What's going on, people? Welcome to Throw Down Your Questions, episode 281. I'm your host, Tony Polanco, and today I'm joined by Emilio Lopez. What's up, people? I'm on camera. How's All right. Going? Chris Seeley. Hey, what's up, everyone? Carlos Romero. Yo, yo, yo. And joining us once again, Mr. Adam Vale. What's up? That's Adam with an A. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> be back. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, we miss you, Adam. You know, we don't need to go into details or whatever, but it's good yeah, to see yeah, you, man. Yeah, no, you know, no, but it's yeah, it's good to be back. Let's let's shoot the shit. You already this know, is, man. You already know. It's like a hockey team, you know. Like yeah. Adam comes back, Brian like <laughs> drops out. It's like that's how know? it is, man. Yeah, it's, we got penalty boxes. <laughs> yeah. Yo, throw down right now. We're, we got the our beards going on right now. Like it, it's gotten to a point where I gotta like actually brush this thing now. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna see how long I can keep it going. Can like you, you know what? It, yeah, you know? can you grow a full beard? I'm gonna find out. <laughs> I'm gonna find out that's now. Me too. Me too. You, you know, know what? That's it. That's it. The beard challenge. Let's the beard challenge. Let's go. A full beard, Manny. Yeah. I think you can grow a full beard. I, oh, I think yeah, I've, I seen, can, I can I've seen you with a grizzly one. Yeah, you see me. With, <laughs> you see me with like a two month deadline style beard. <laughs> Um, I, I don't oh. I, I don't do it because I just it just looks so gross on me, man. I, no, I, 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 it, I think you I know. Keep it, yeah, I keep it like stubble, like or close to like a little long, like this. But what are the, than that, yeah, the thing is that I always stopped growing beards because it always looks nasty. But I'm like, what if I just keep it going? Like maybe it'll actually look nicer or something when it actually fills and, out. Because you know when you're first start growing a beard, it looks fucked up and nasty oh, yeah, and stuff. Yeah. It's just like when you're growing your hair; it's the same yeah. shit. It's it, a good just, length. And like Jesse's like like no nah, no nah, we're we're not we're not we're not cool we're not cool with that oh man oh. I'm, like, I don't, I'm like you know she's like you know to a certain point but like yeah you get oh. yeah. but Tony do you remember when Manny had a, his Indiana Jones hat and the beard I, and shit? yeah man, man yeah tell me God bring it back oh god. <laughs> That'd be well, hilarious. If I had an Indiana Jones beard, that'd be like a that's oh, like the stubble. Like it's just stubble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. no, but you, you need to be Tom Selleck Indiana Jones. That's Yo, I mean. Chris, you could grow a pretty epic beard, man. I've seen yours, bro. You know? Yeah, I'm I I got a beard right now. Yeah, my oh, man. Yeah. My man. Yeah. Chris, we gotta get you, you back on camera, man, because Chris always had a bunch of cool stuff behind his joint, you know? Need to change that little that, that avatar yeah. of Chris just to add a little <laughs> beard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, my Indian <laughs> Gohan was like a goatee or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah we put a little beard on it with a marker. So. Yo, yo, Carlos, what about you, bro? Um, I can I can grow a beard. Um, but it, like like you mentioned, when when it first starts, it's not that great because nah. there's like there's patches and stuff that when it's not fully grown. But when I let it go, like all out, like I've only, I think I've only done like once or twice. It it does like it. It looks like an actual beard at the end. Yeah. After a couple of months, but yeah, I don't, I don't let it grow that long. Yeah, yeah. For me though, like the only thing is, it's a little surreal. Like especially with my mustache. Like when I look in the mirror, and I'm like, I, I see my dad staring back at me. I'm like, oh, oh that's fucking shit. scary. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You know, I look better than him though. Keeping it real. <laughs> hey, I'm a, hey, just say, man. I got you know, I got, I'm the better looking Polanco. You know. <laughs> you, look, you look a lot like your mom or your dad. It's it's I'm a mix of both. I'm actually like, like legit half and half. So you know you got her side mixed with his, and you get this handsome fella you see before you, man. <laughs> you know. Oh man, you're ready. No, anyway, man, we got questions to answer tonight. So let's get into it, man. All right, first up, we got who is this guy, man? Ramu Death. I don't know. No, man, I've heard nothing but bad this, things about that guy. Yeah. This, guy, yeah, this guy just comes out of nowhere. He's what Portuguese, so the translations yeah. come off a little. You know, question. I don't know. I, I got, I got, a, I got a good feeling about that. You know what? I think he's handsome too. As a matter of fact, oh, you know, and, and I'm saying that in a, in a manly way, you know, I, I'm, I'm comfortable enough with my sexuality to admit another man looks good. And I think it's wrong. Yeah, I like Rico Suave. He looks yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, nah, Rico. I, I, heard, I heard he has a red beard. Yeah, yeah, he oh, does, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's probably a very good-looking fella. Anyway, so his question is, what is your take on people posting The Last of Us 2 spoilers on social media? How should Sony respond to this? So if you guys don't know, today, like, if you were on Twitter, you got to be careful because somebody is posting fucking spoilers of the game. It's going crazy. They're making videos and shit. Like, bruh, wait, you know? Wait, wait videos, okay. not a footage, right? Just... No, it, it, okay, I don't know if it's footage of the game, but basically, whatever the, whatever video was out there originally, Sony took that shit down. 
they took it down. But obviously, people, there's mirrors and shit, you know, that people could do. So, yeah, what do you guys think about that? My thing is, like, obviously, it's all fucked up that people are doing is like, what, do you have anything better to do? And I'm going to say this right now. I'm just, I'm, I was going to save this for later. I'm going to jump the gun right now. Sony, you know what you should do to combat this? Put the game out. <laughs> that's what you should do. Yeah, get the yeah. game out. Get the game out right now. Like, that's how you stop the spoilers, bro. Because, you know, go ahead, bro. Yeah. If this game was finished already, then. You know what I mean? Like, did they send a final copy to, you know, developers, yeah. studios, whatever, or certain media outlets? Was it done? Because how are, there, are people able to show videos and that means they played it at some point and got to a certain point to see the ending? Yeah, from, you know, this is this is part of the rumor because people don't actually know where this happened or how it happened. But the, the rumor is, and again, rumor, 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 is that it was a disgruntled naughty dog employee that did this shit. It's possible. I, you know, again, rumor, we don't know if that's the case or not. There is a possibility, yeah, that, that, that it could be a, a, a disgruntled employee. You can't, you know. Yeah, who knows? That's, that's and and obviously, yeah, yeah, go ahead. It's still it's it sucks though like you know like for people you know I, I personally I wasn't really that interested in the game but I mean to be honest like I don't not I don't wish any any shit like this on people especially if they're really in, uh, looking forward to a game come on guys like and then just people just keep eating it up and spreading it around it's 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 not cool man <clears throat> Oh. And me, you know, me for me as far as spoilers, like you know, I'm I'm okay with spoilers to an extent, like you know, I, I'm like because I don't, I don't know, think about it too much. I don't equate too much to it, you know. Like somebody could be like, you know, like um, I mean, well, what game? There was a game that uh, that came out pretty recently, and there was some some stuff that, that, that Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. I, you know, there was some things that came out of Kingdom Hearts, and I'm like, okay, whatever, I don't get it. You know, I don't, I haven't gotten there yet, so I don't know. And, I, you know, I wasn't too bent out of shape. I, you know, obviously I'm not look, you know, especially the minute you start searching Kingdom Hearts or something like of a, of, or any sort of big game, you automatically you start seeing, you know, the YouTube starts throwing a bunch of, you know, spoiler bullshit at you. But for me, I just like, okay, if I get a little bit, I get a little bit of, but I, I'm like, but again, it's like, why are you going to like, you know, ruin it, like ruin it for everybody? What is like, what does this do? What is you knowing, and 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 you know you obviously probably haven't seen the ending or whatever like that. Well, what is you knowing and then telling everybody else do? Oh, it, it's all about the hits. If these people are posting this shit online, they're trying to get. That oh yeah, it's all about that clout. Out. That that's clout, they, you know? exactly. Yeah. That's all they care about. They don't care if they're spoiling it for you and everybody else or the studio and causing loss of revenue and all that. They don't give a shit. But, they just uh, want yeah, people ahead. to get their hits. Well, yeah, Chris, go ahead. Bro. Uh, well, I was going to say, I mean, I agree with Tony. The only way to head this off now and kill the rumors is to release the game. Release the game. They really don't have a good excuse not to do it at this point. Somebody leaked this shit, whether they're inside or not. The, it, it, most likely it's legit, right? Head it off. Don't do what um, Bioware did. Don't try to retool the game right now or do that shit. Just put it out there and just let it, um, you know, let it be. You know, it's our, if uh, and Neil Druckmann claimed like what was it two three weeks ago that it was ninety percent done. He they said, were just working yeah. on bugs. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that's it. So just yeah, so put it out. Amazing. So I'm like, okay, what's worse, right? Some bugs that you can yeah. fix later, or some fucking leaks and shit. You know, basically this is the way I'm seeing. Okay, like, if you're Naughty Dog, you've been working on this game for how many years now? Like four years or so. You know, blood, sweat, and tears, yeah. and we've heard about all this shit with the crunch and everything. Why would you want pe why why would you allow people to have it, the shit leaked leak for them when you have the power to stop that by putting the game out? You know what I'm saying? Like if you put the game out, people could actively just avoid social media for like whatever the three days it's gonna take to beat it, and that's it. Everybody be happy. So I'm like, why are you willingly letting your art suffer because of this when you could just put it out there right now? The way I see it. If you have this game that's in a state that where it's able to be leaked, that means it's able to be released. That's the way I'm seeing how, it, you know? How how long how, did this, all this come out today? Or just Okay, here's the thing. You know, a little bit of history. So these leaks started actually about a month ago, right? Apparently, the, the script was leaked, right? The entire script and all that. And even back then, some people were hitting me up behind the scenes going, yo, you want to you see it? I'm like, no, I don't want to see that shit. Get the fuck out of here, right? So that was last yeah. month. But the, the reason this is brought up now is because somebody made a video of this shit, you know? But again, I don't know if the video actually shows game um, you know, game footage, or if it's just a person talking, I don't know what, what it entails. Again, I am not 
ton of watch any of that shit, but not, but basically think about it. People don't really read anymore. People watch videos. You put a video out there, it's gonna spread like wildfire. I know Sony took down that first video, but there's gonna be mirrors. People are gonna keep popping it up and stuff. The damage is already yeah. out there, man. So yeah, the, the only way I can see you just plugging this shit in is like just release the game, bro. Re release it digitally if you can't get it out there to all the the the, the regions they wanted to get out to. Put it out digitally. Release it physically. People are gonna buy their physical joints no matter what. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about yeah. that. Yeah, you know? and then just, uh, you think they're gonna do that? What happened? No, no, no. I'm saying that's what they yeah. should. I'm not saying they will. Yeah. They probably won't. Yeah, you know? I don't. I don't. I mean, yeah. The, the, what we say is like, yeah, put it out there, but you know, who knows how? Well, what what they have to go through to do this? I don't know. You put know? the game up, but that that's all you can do. Put the game up, and but, and the onus is on Sony. Like, yeah, because I'm pretty sure Sony is the one, and Goose mentioned it. I'm pretty sure Sony is the one that made Naughty Dog delay this shit. They're the ones in control, so it's. Are, are like, you sure? Well, let me know because you know Sony usually lets their studios do whatever they're gonna do. Maybe well, it was Naughty Dog, but who know? We don't know either. Remember, you know? remember the the day that the that the Last of Us Two was delayed was the same day another another Sony title was delayed. Was the, it wasn't uh, well, Naughty Dog. Uh, Iron, Iron Man? Iron Man. Yeah, that's right. So that's a good evidence for why Sony did it. Then you're right. Because both of them got delayed the same day. Like, you think they just came to that conclusion independently? Yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. You're right about that. I think it probably was Sony. But so, then again, that, le that leads into... Think that, I also think that yeah. Iron Man, obvious, Iron Man was uh, obviously a lot further off, a, father, a lot, you know, a lot more complete than Last of Us. Because yeah. it wasn't a... It wasn't like... It was a, obviously it's a triple A game, but it was a game made by a smaller studio that probably wasn't spending the same amount of money as yeah. as Last of Us did. Let's just, Shit is just, crazy. That's, that's camouflage, by the way. Um, the Ryan Payton's company, the guys yeah. who did Republic, and um, he's a former uh, Kojima Productions guy. So, yeah, but yeah, the the real main reason I wanted to toss this in there is mainly to warn all our listeners and viewers: watch out. Watch out for this shit. If you got to mute some shit on Twitter, mute it. You don't want this shit getting spoiled because you know there's going to be dudes that want to see. Let's just be honest. I want to see the world burn. They're just going to start yeah. spreading this stuff. You know, yeah. that, especially you know. and you know, you know, obviously have people who want to go want to push that silly console war bullshit and they want to. You know, they don't. They probably don't even look at it. Just retweet the shit so that it hits as many of of the, of the folks who want to play it as possible. Yeah, you know. Uh, real quick, Ice asked, do we know if these publishers have sales contracts that won't allow them to make it for purchase without brick and mortar stores getting a chance? Chris, you can answer that one. Uh, some, sometimes they do. You know, um, Target and, and I think Walmart do that. So it, it is possible. But, I mean, what's what's going to hurt more, right? You have to always weigh what's the worst case scenario. So you breach. So if I was Sony and I breached a contract with Target, like fuck, I'm going to release it digitally. But it's only avail. It's only available through PSN anyway, right? Yeah. And just renegotiate with Target. Take the hit on the contract, but yeah. don't let this stew and take a hit on the sales, the potential sales. Yeah. That's what I would say. Fuck the the contract. Just breach it. Deal with it. Negotiate. Renegotiate it. Whatever. That's easier than dealing with this than waiting. Yeah, it's like that's the only thing you can do. That's the only thing Sony can do. Put the game out there and stem this shit. That's it. All right, man. Let's move on here to Axel Wolf. We haven't heard questions from him in a while. His first question is, with Microsoft announcing that the Cyberpunk Xbox One X will be the last limited edition console, does that mean they are phasing out the Xbox One X? I know everyone's talking about the rumored Lockhart console, but why would they release another console when they've made it clear the Xbox One family is the entry level console, I, I've heard people talk about this. How they basically believe since the Cyberpunk, uh, you know, bundle is going to be the last one for Xbox One X that they're going to phase out the the system. I'm not so sure about that. If they are going to phase it out, but at the same time, if this Lockhart is real, it does make sense they would phase it out because what the hell would you need an Xbox One X if you have a system that's more powerful than it, even though it's not as powerful as the Series X? You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a little weird, you know. Yeah. What, what do you what do you make of that, Adam? Well, I, this is a question I have with this because uh, you know I haven't been in the loop, but I heard that there's that Lockhart was it four teraflops? 
it's actually weaker than the Xbox Series that's, X. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's the rumor, yeah. That's the rumor, So if yeah. that's the case, and it's not really a viable replacement, it's weaker. It's not... I thought it was going to be the same power, just diskless. You know, this is all digital. Same power, no disk. Enjoy. Take that. If it's lesser, then it puts it in a weird place because, well, you got the S. I think the S is only two teraflops if we go based off of flops. Yeah. So it, it doesn't make sense. You're just a little better than that, but you're not better than the X. It, it's it's complicated. It doesn't sound right. Yeah. I, from um, what I understand, you guys in the chat could correct me. Like the Lockhart is more powerful than the Series than the X and the X, but not as powerful as Series X. That that's how I understand. I thought it wasn't. I thought it wasn't that's powerful than, it than was. the X because the X is what eight teraflops. But, I don't even know what the hell it is, but like. Let me let me look. Yeah, look it up. Oh, hold on. Oh, Goose said to read his comment. I'll read your comments, sir. What the fuck is your comment? You got a lot of comments here, bro. Uh, he goes, uh, yes, when it comes to GPU, it is more powerful, but the rumor is that the Lockhart will have the same CPU as the Xbox Series X. Interesting. Mm. I don't. I still don't understand the existence of the Lockhart. I don't, I don't yeah, get it. Yeah, so the 12 teraflops yeah. is in that. So uh, that's and a big eight, difference. Yeah, me. and eight for the for the these fucking name we got a question about that these fucking names you know yeah um yeah it's not way, weaker it's, it's, it has the rdna too damien says that what up damien well it's 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 the it's just teraflops you know yeah yeah it's just, it's just terif- one yeah. dimension of the whole system of course of course but yeah. this is what they keep hyping is my point it's like that's because oh, these dumb all the flops yeah we they, got all the flops well you know why right. they're doing that because these dumbass fanboys think that teraflops yeah. are the only thing that matters now you know they hear oh oh the teraflops on that on the xbox is more powerful than, than the places that teraflops is all about like no no teraflops is one that. aspect but, you know Come on, man. It, it'll be interesting if they announce two SKUs. I mean, two it, different consoles at the same event. But yeah, go ahead, Manny. I mean, I mean, it, it is a, it's an interesting prospect that you know they decide to, to phase out the the previous generation, which I per- personally thought that it was if there was going to be a lower version, they just kind of reconfigure a couple of different things and then just make that the, the you know the lower SKU of it. But it, it seems like you know, at least from the way that things are going now, it looks like it's it looks like they're they're gonna probably slowly but surely you know go through all the old the old X Xbox One Xs, and then just sort of in, in, insert a new a new one in between there, which is a more power you know it's powerful than the other one, but it's not as powerful as the new one. Yeah. But yeah, if the, if this thing like I said, if this thing is you know true Lockhart, because it's still a rumor at the moment. The Xbox Series, or oh my God, I'm getting these fucking names. The Xbox One X is redundant; doesn't need to exist. Yeah. You know. By the way, this is what a goose says. Lockhart is rumored to. By the way, goose, you're fucking American. Drop that U from rumored, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the fuck, man? You spell in wrong. There's only one U in rumor, not two. He, he does it. He maybe he does know? the same in word colors. Yeah. Uh, I hope you copy and pasted that shit. Cause you're, you're, aren't you from the Bronx, motherfucker? You writing like that? <laughs> Anyway, he goes. Lockhart is rumored. Yeah, we, we, we we seen a we seen a sign for the Bronx. Hold on, he said your auto correct. Yo, well, my man, Brooklyn. All right, that's better than the Bronx. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, even Bronx. though even though fuck Brooklyn too though. Um. Whoa. Anyway, but he says how's his auto correct? Auto correct. What the hell? Yo, your your auto correct needs to. You, you, it, it, might, it needs auto correct. It doesn't have uh, English U.S. It's English I, U.K. It's yo, Goose, how, how many L's are in canceled for your autocorrect? If it's one L, then that shit's on British or something, bro. It's supposed yeah, to be two yeah. L's. You know. Anyway, let me get let me get to a statement. I got thrown off by sight of rumor. Oh, it's rumored to have four teraflops. Like, come on, bro. You're from fuck. You're a New Yorker, man. Get out of here with that shit. All right, Lockhart is rumored to have four teraflops and the same CPU as Xbox Series X. It will be weaker GPU wise. In relation to Xbox Series X's t- six ter six teraflops GPU, but the CPU, if in fact the same as the Xbox Series X CPU, will be least ahead of the Xbox One X. Again, that that just tells me it's like, what the fuck do you need the Xbox One X for anymore? So it ma- it would make now I understand why people are saying, oh, they're gonna phase it out. Like, yeah, it kind of makes sense, you know. It's super cheap now if people want to get it's like two and change. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, uh, I mean. Is um uh, I'm you know the question to the you know the the Xbox fans is like especially guys who who literally just made the investment in that new one uh, are you gonna you know uh, are you gonna just are you pissed off about this or is just like mm. you know 
or is it just like, hey, you know what? I'll go, you know, I'll go with the new one when I, when it comes out. I I want to say that I would think because I know of some that are hardcore that ran out and bought this one and that limited uh, green one that they had. Yeah, the, and one, I, the, the one, the discless one, right? Yeah, the, no, it was this one. The, the X had a special scorpion version or something. Scorpion. Like that. It was called some. But anyway, the thing is that they see it as it was always advertised as a specialty. This was never supposed to be something that lingered around too long. This was just like, hey, if you're really into it and you're willing to spend some money and you just want this type of power now, get it. But it's they, they, that's the way they see it. They never saw it as like, oh, wow, this is going to be great. It's going to have longevity and last all these years. And obviously that's not the case because they knew that next year around we were going to get a new box. Yo, so, by the way, I was right. He did have it set on UK English, yeah, man. Of course, no of course. Not. Once he said autocorrect was doing it, that's that's a flag right yeah. there. Yeah, because yeah. you, you sound a pretentious as fuck. Oh, it's rubid. Come on, bro. Anyway, <laughs> that threw me the fuck off. You know, oh, look at look how so, I'm eating my tea and crumpets, telling you about these rubies, about the teraflops. How kind of you to let me come. Yeah. By the way, for you guys who, uh, you know, are listening to the show, I had my fucking pinky up to my fucking mouth and shit. Mm. Uh, the rumors suggest that the like heart is more powerful than the Xbox One yeah, X, I, I, but not as powerful as the Series X. Uh. The yeah, rain how... in Spain go- falls mainly in the plain. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how I drink my Mountain Dew, though. When I do my Mountain Dew, I got my pinky. I don't know why it does that. Yo, what the fuck? You know, yeah, but shout out to Brian. He's not here tonight. By the way, the reason Brian couldn't be here tonight is because apparently he was playing Elite Dangerous like too late and he needs some sleep. Because you got to remember, Brian, like when he does a show, it's 3 a.m. for him, you know? Yeah, that's it. I can't credit for you. His freak says, give Tony some tea. Oh, have a, a, a spot of uh, Earl Grey. Yo, it's, it's 3 a.m. for Brian. A.K.A. Top of the morning. It's top of the morning to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oi, we do all British accents, we all. <laughs> you know? Yeah. By the way, shout out to Gary, man. He has that London accent. Like, oh, it's the order. You know? <laughs> you know, like, like for example. Brian, yeah, it belongs in a Guy Ritchie film. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, for real. Like, like, exactly. Hey, Brian, you know, what, what's that game you didn't like on PlayStation? Go, oh, The Order 1886. Like, hey, hey, Gary, did you like The Order? Oh, The Order? It was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I remember Gary, as a matter of fact, he had a, a rap song. It was called Out of Order, right? But. The way, you know, when he actually raps like it's out oh, oh, uh. I'm like, bro, those are just vowels you threw out. Those weren't even words. <laughs> <laughs> you know, out oh, oh, uh. <laughs> This shit is nuts. Oh, where the fuck are we right now, man? Shout out to Gary. Yeah, shout, yeah, man. Hey, he was on the on the on the oh, I'll give him a shout out later, but he was on the Final Fantasy podcast with us, man. Good times. All right. Um who you know, says eventually funny, I, I have to think, hey, go ahead, bro? You know, it's funny. I was actually thinking of uh, popping up on that Final Fantasy podcast, even though I didn't play the new one. I was like, you know, I got a, I got a thousand years of memories of the original one. You know the know. ending, so it's not yo. Know the ending. Well, well, Adam, you know, we'll talk about that later. But All right, let's settle down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but Manny could have been good for filling in some of those gaps because sometimes we're like, yo, did that happen in the original? Did that happen in the original? You know. But the thing is, like, the way I set that episode up was four cameras. It was perfect. You know. So Manny, nah, man, I would not let you in. <laughs> I would have broken the synergy. Yeah. Well, that actually no, because I, I set up a private room and everything. But me, yeah, I Manny should have just looked in, like. It, actually, you should yeah, you should have been our like um, like historian. Hey, did that happen in the original? <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh man, Bugenhagen. that's crazy. All right, man, let's get to the next question here, Adam. I'm glad you're back for this one, man. Mm. All right, lately you guys have been talking a lot about trophies. It's true, I mean, we were talking about, a lot about trophies because I was talking about God of War. By, by the way, people, Shaboy, Shaboy got that platinum. I don't Let's know go. which way he is. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, but uh, by the way, so now, as before, I got all the platinums and all the God of Wars. This, 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 this. All right. Even, the, even, the, even the 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 the, the remaster- what, section. <laughs> yes, I said all of them, <laughs> son. The, the the Vita one. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. Wait, there's Vita ones. No, well, the PSP yeah, more, ones. He meant the PSP. Oh. ones. Yeah. PSP one. oh, ready, no. was it a Vita? It was a Vita launch. No, they, no, no, it was, it was PSP. Yeah, it was PSP, bro. PSP. There's got, two PSP ones. Yeah. yeah uh, Ch- Chains of Olympus and uh, oh, Ghost of Sparta. No, I'm Sparta. sorry. I'm thinking of Uncharted. Yeah, you know, we're talking uh, about that. Golden Abyss. Yeah. Golden Abyss. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, no. question is okay, lately you guys have been talking a lot about trophies. Just curious. 
What do you guys get out of them? I've heard people go through a lot of crap to platinum games and even cheat to get them sometimes. Adam, we'll start with you. What satisfaction do you get from trophy slash Chivos? What do you get them? Uh, I get... Uh... I, I picture like an old wizard guy in the back who's just writing everything <laughs> down. Like you see the people, the, the the monks that were filling in the Bible and putting things, and that's what it is for me. It's like somebody once that chivo or that trophy pops, it gets thrown into a database real deep within whether the Sony world or Microsoft world, and then it's kept there forever. So regardless of whatever happens to me, the, the, that that info of what I achieved at that po- moment in my life is ingrained in stone forever. I think and that I think also that's... I think that also comes from the fact like even when we were kids we used to like just write down the date that we used to yeah, beat the game yeah. and you know if we played it together we did all that stuff when we yeah. were kids. Yeah, yeah. and we came it's from a time a where yeah, and we came from a time where we didn't have all these things where you can just look up somebody's high score. It was always bragging, you know, because someone would yeah. say, yeah, I beat that game. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, me too, me too. Prove it. How do you prove it? You had to go and, and play the guy or whatever. It's bullshit. Now, it's it's easier to prove, you know. In fact, I recently, I had turned on my PS4 yeah. in a while, and it gave me, like, oh, you have to update your privacy settings and all that stuff. And I'm putting everything to private, but when it said, hey, you want to show your trophies? I said, to everyone. Go ahead. Let Hell yeah. Yo, by the way, I'm going to sidetrack right now, right? I never understood these dudes that hide their trophies or their team. I was like, what the hell's the point of that, bro? Like, it's shame. You, it's shame. It must be. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, like, yo, come on, man. Like, yo, if you get them, show them. You know, let's see what you got, bro. I got you the know? platinum. Gonna... My name's Mayo. I'm Me so too. happy. Yeah. I got both of them for the Vita I got, and for the PS4. I got three platinums. One is my name is Mayo. Shit, I hate you. How'd you get the third one? Where'd you get that? Uh, by the way, I have a name for those kind of trophies, but I can't say that on the show anymore. But <laughs> but, but, it, it, but it's it's a part of a, the female anatomy platinum, P platinum. Okay. <laughs> you hey, know? Every once in a while, you got to put some fluff. It's like when you watch uh, Kate Boston on, they put some fond on. It's the same. Just, Yo, you crazy, bro. I got to just lay some. It's just, it's just another number. So when you look at it, you're like, oh, whatever. No one really cares. It's just one of the numbers. Goose, goose, and Toti plants. <laughs> and, and you know, like and also, also, everybody like, likes that, though. So. Yeah. Also, also, like me and that, like I used to record the fucking endings to games back in the day. Yeah, I remember. I would go to I your house. And that, I still have the chest of all these have. endings. You know, you still like, have those? yeah, I still uh-huh. have it. I like, still got them too, son. Yeah, I still got mine. This we guy, yeah. Tony, used to do do, do the whole caboodle. He used to like. Like pause it spe- specifically so that it would ed- edit the right at the right point. Yeah, man. Yo, before you see how these dudes on YouTube and shit, they're making like video game movies out of the cinemas and shit. I was doing that shit back in the day on VHS, man. Holla at your yep. boy, you know. Yep. Fuck those guys on YouTube, man. They gotta come to me. Where's my royalty, motherfucking money at? Yo, you yeah, know? it was harder with VHS too. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah it was. You gotta be precise and shit. I should press the pause button, yeah. and then so- certain VCRs never did it, and also like. You know, because um, 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 the way they kind of hooked up is like you you would get all kinds of distortion and stuff like that. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. You get from a VC- when you put two VCRs together, there was this whole process <laughs> of shit to get to at least to yeah. get but video games that didn't have all that like that stuff like that you could that would block and you know you know information from you. Yeah, but some of them did. And it was just fucking crazy to get around. Yeah, but anyway, to, to get back on topic, you know, about why we get trophies and stuff and tweets, he was all that. For me, you know, I, I'm going to just jump on what I'm said. It is basically like, hey, I could track shit. Like, because some people say, they'll be like, oh, uh, are you just getting trophies to compete with other people? To be honest, that's not even no. in my mindset. Like, I don't care about that. I just want a list of what I've done up there for perpetuity, you know, perpetuity, oh, you know what I'm saying, for posterity, yeah, yeah, yeah. posterity, yeah, like, yeah. I want it up there, like, I want to know, oh, I did this shit, but at the same time, Adam, you are right, though, it's like, somebody goes, oh, word, you got to apply them in that show, and I'm like, I will show it, actually, yeah, bam, you know, but that's the other thing, that <laughs> cut down a lot of that, because, you know, how many, how many fucking lives did we have to deal with in school back in the day, like, oh, I yeah. beat this game, like, you beat okay. the game, did you even play this shit, your mom bought that shit for you, bro, get out of here, you motherfuckers too poor to be in Fortnite games, man, you didn't yep. buy that shit, you didn't play it, yeah. get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> the only time I had to go back to that old school was recently when I was doing the Switch. Whenever I would be like the Marvel one or with the Diablo, and I send you screenshots. Yeah, because that, you that have to. Don't have a yeah. system. They don't have a way of proving it. Yo, by the way, you know, for you guys, I think you, Adam, you and I have had this conversation on here. But you know, one of the things that Adam and I do, man, is like, yo, when we beat a game on Switch, it doesn't count. 
nobody no. knows we could be That's lying right. you know exactly you could you could have downloaded that screenshot off of, off of google you just been like ending of animal crossing man i got a special folder on my phone and favorites of all the games that i finished and i just show <laughs> end credits and date you know with my gamer tag so they could see it wasn't like from somebody else yeah like for example like i got i have like 60 hours in breath of the wild right like like okay you could give me the benefit of the doubt and be like oh yeah he finished it or what how do you know if i just left the fucking shit on for 60 hours you don't know but if nintendo had chivos <laughs> that wouldn't even be an issue by the way tony tony and i have left the game on for for over 60 hours yes yes um was a metal gear which one it was, was it metal gear or something like that yeah we yeah. left it on oh to yo get the to get the chick to get the fucking chicken um uh what was it um was it that yeah, the, yeah. Uh, emblem the chicken emblem in the game yeah because basically the chicken emblem is it, for beating the game mad slow right so for like mm -hmm. two nights in a row i just left my shit on you know yep. I, I went to uh shadow moses because there's nothing that i went in to cut and just left them there inside though because he would freeze to death if you leave him outdoors mm -hmm. you know um, for me for me it was uh it was the um would um, you leave him before, before you you fight the mm -hmm. um, the the geckos like in that that like hotel there's like that big hotel there like before you go all the way up and you meet meryl and all that stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's empty you could you run through the whole place before you get to that point and then it activates all the enemies but so i did is i just sat snake on a couch and just <laughs> turn my, turn my yeah. tv off yeah uh real quick uh damn it, i can't see this font real quick Ocean Lab 2020, oh, 2000, what's going on, brother? He goes, Life is Strange series are super easy platinums where people starting platinums. I got it easier for you. I, tell, I tell, 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 tell games. Tell tell games even oh, easier. Yeah. Tell tell, 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 tell games. Yeah, yeah, tell tell I mean, game. Yeah, which, Life is Strange, you actually have to play through a couple times. Um, like with um, not every tell tell game, but a lot of them. Literally just play through the entire series, get the platinum, can it to you. You know, those are easier. Um, what was I going to say? So, yeah, so I've done that. By the way, if Metal Gear Solid Four had retroactive trophies, Manny and I would have gotten to platinum day one because we had we got all the emblems, all yep, of them. We got and, all the and, emblems in there. Yeah, and getting the emblems is part of the the platinum process. You know, mm -hmm. like all the all the the challenges with, for each platinum are trophies. We we did all that shit. You know, yep. but you know, but again, we would have to like post screenshots because we don't have trophies. So that's my my main thing is like it's for posterity and I and oh. and also just for me. I've always been that guy, Manny. You know this. You can verify this. I've been the guy that likes to 100% games. I can't mm -hmm. do that as much anymore, obviously, because of my job. But I, I feel like, oh, uh, if I see like the, you know, the trophy status is like 90%. I'm like, you didn't really finish this game, did you, man? You know. And again, I was doing this shit before there were any trophies or anything. I would always 100% games, always. That's same, you know, that's the same for me. Like I always like to, you know, get get everything that I could in the game. What I've you've always got you guys have heard me you know say the one and done playthrough, that's the way I always play. Like I get everything like fun, like for you know game like Final Fantasy VII the original one, I like stop the clock in that game and I got every single person's ultimate weapon. I got all the different things and yeah. So that's just the way you know, for me. It's 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 I still have that mentality where yeah. I I need to you know I still want to get everything I can in the game. And the only and for me the side effect of it is the fact that I get a trophy for it or I get a, a thing for it. You do get it, something, you know. Yeah, so I still get like, like you know, again, I like I, I again like I usually the way I usually play things is like you know if I'm done and I get and I just so happen to get every single thing in there, then that's great. The other part of it for me is like, well, like okay, I've already got one and got everything in there, and there's just a couple of little clean up things to try to you know to just i'm like you know what i really like this game i'm going to continue to play it and then you know i'll get the the, the platinum trophy in it yeah yeah no for and sure that's, that's the, just that's just the two ways i sort of play things yeah well, it, it, it's ahead, a bro. little funny connection with this uh so my daughter she's been playing uh, a game called roblox i know that game yeah i know roblox you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so she watches it on the youtube kids and she would tell me she's like oh you know this game and it's like oh it's on xbox over here so mm -hmm. she's been playing xbox Anyway, so I'm up in the office and I'm on the computer and I get a notification and it pops up. It's like, oh, you just earned 50 points in achievement. So I'm getting achievement notifications because she's earning them. Oh, shit. And I was like, <laughs> one, 
I'm boosting. They forgot all about that. So here it is. I got my daughter boosting for me, giving me Chivo points. But here's the other one. I didn't know that you could even get notifications like that on the phone. Like they're really throwing it in your face. Like let's say if I was sitting there playing, I see it pop on the screen and it also pops on my phone. Yeah. Yo, you know, it's funny you mentioned that because uh, when yeah. I reviewed, when I, even though I did eventually, you know, I reviewed it for PC, but for Resident Evil 3, I actually played it on Xbox first, right? Regular Xbox, right? And it was funny. Every single time I finished playing the game, I would come back to my PC and it'd be a bunch of notifications, oh, yes. <laughs> yes. you know? Also, but yeah, if you have that app on the PC, it'll pop up. Yeah, I had a bunch of notifications on that. So that's dope. There was something else I wanted to say about trophies, but yeah, you know, I, I, I always like getting her percent, but at the same time, you know, and I've learned this since the early days, because uh, I did get to a point where I became a slave to the trophies, right, where it would be like, I would get a game, the first thing I would do, I would go online to find out what the trophies are, and then find out the best way of getting trophies, it's like, okay, am I playing the game for the game, or am I playing the game for the trophies, when I realized I was playing the game for the trophies, time to stop that, play for the game, if you get the platinum, fantastic, but if you don't, Wait, that's cool too, you know? Sometimes, it works the other way around, it's even better that way, because let's say if there's a game that you weren't too into, but then you look at the trophies and like, oh, that could be fun. That could be challenging. Okay. Yeah, why not? And then it's a game within itself to get those. Yeah, yeah, I know for sure. But, you know, that, that's the thing. It's like the one I, I've said this on the show many times. But the one that broke me was Final Fantasy 13, getting that fucking platinum. For two weeks, I was grinding on this one motherfucking, like, giant tortoise or whatever, trying to get this one material off him that only had a 1% drop rate, right? And I had to get enough of it so I could forge a weapon. So for two weeks, I'm doing this shit. Meanwhile, at that time, GTA Liberty City Stories came out, whatever the fuck it was. It, it was the expansions for Xbox, right? They finally came out on PlayStation. I had been waiting for those for a year because it was year long exclusivity so i'm there like i can't play this shit i want to play because i'm grinding for this motherfucking trophy <laughs> you know so after i'm like tony just play the games you want bro <laughs> just play what you want you know? I, I was telling you at the time you're like i'm like dude just just put it down and you yeah. know you already beat you already got the ending you got all the stuff in the game but just put it down you're like no no yeah i had to you know how i get obsessed with shit man by the way Go goose had the same problem when he realized like oh i'm playing games for trophies Eh, you know wake up call but it's still fun to get them like i said when i when yeah. i got the when i got the platinum and god award that felt good because i'd got a platinum since assassin's creed odyssey by the way funniest thing about assassin's creed odyssey you know why it would prompt me to get the platinum i was not trying to get the platinum in that that game is so long i was i went in with the goal of 100 percenting every island right bro uh, after 120 hours i'm like i don't want to play this game anymore i need an out and then i looked at the trophy list i'm like Okay, it would take me less time to get the platinum than to 100% this game. I'm just going to get the platinum and get the fuck out of here. This is too much, <laughs> you know? So you didn't have to 100% like I know in Grand no, Theft Auto no. like that. You don't have to 100% it to get No, the you don't. Yeah, so I was like, okay, get, getting the platinum, which obviously one of the trophies is beat the game. I'm like, it would take me less time to platinum this than to because if i would have got it you know try to get 100 percent, it would probably would have been another 40 hours right trying to get that platinum five extra hours i was done i was i was it because i was so far ahead you know but no it's it, again but i still want to have a, a a list of achievements and stuff even with final fantasy 7 i'm not trying to get that platinum that shit is too crazy but i want to at least get like quote unquote a good grade to 70 percent, which i have now just to show hey i did all this stuff you know trophies are fun man she was a fun Oh, yeah, yeah. Steam achievements could use some work, though. Let's just be real. You can buy shit that from. You mean you can buy your your achievements or chill trophies, whatever the yeah. fuck they call them. Like you, you know, you, you play an Xbox game, you get a Chivo, you feel good. You get a trophy on PlayStation, you feel good. You get a achievement on Steam, you're like, eh, you, you don't really get give a fuck. You know, Blizzard has a cool little system when you play their games on um, PC, and it makes like a little yeah. sound like bling, 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 and you see like that's little, dope. Yeah, man. It's pretty cool. All right, man. Let's move on. Wait, 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 what about Chris? Um, were we going down the line? Well, you know, go ahead, Chris. Yeah, well, we, you know, yeah. We should go down the line. yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much it's it's just for the challenge most of the time. That's why I try to platinum the Souls games. You it's did just, the Sekiro, right? The Sekiro. No, I I was I was working on that, but I would have to <clears throat> do multiple new games because one of the there's a trophy for each ending. And Forget getting it. each ending requires certain story things to happen, and you to talk to certain people at certain times. And I fucked up one twice. Like, I fucked up a conversation where I was supposed to use stealth, listen to this lady, then go talk to her, and then go talk to this dude. So I forgot to, like, eavesdrop on her before I talked to her. And then after that, it breaks. And you can't do the ending anymore. I just got pissed off. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, by the way, Ocean Lab, we're gonna go to your question. But and Carlos, you're a little bit different than the rest of us. You're not as obsessed with these fucking things. No, I just I just like like them because, like you guys mentioned earlier, it's the whole you know documentation of you completing the game. So mm. you know, the only the only time it pisses me off is I mean, let, let's just get into it, man. Go, go Naughty Dog it, pisses me the fuck off, man. <laughs> <laughs> I I beat I beat the fucking Last of Us. I beat Uncharted Four. I have like. Two percent on the freaking overall progress of the of the trophy list. I'm like, yeah, fuck you. I should I should have just not fucking beat this game. Cause it's like, it's like, come on, you got it. You got to give me more credit for playing for for beating your fucking game on normal mode. Yo, Naughty Dog is actually here's the thing. Let's just be real. Last of Us. That is one of the stingiest fucking games I've ever played when it comes to trophies, yep. man. Yeah, yeah. that's. I think I only got like three or four at the end of that shit. Yeah, it was stingy as a motherfucker. I'm like, yo, what? I think I had like 34. percent Like, Jesus, man, give me Didn't something you have to, like, here. Craft everything and yeah. then kill. I'm not doing all that enemies shit. Enemies with all the different. I was, yeah, I was like, no, I'm not. How do you do that? I have to replay this numerous times. Certain sections where you only get certain materials. Yeah, like, fuck that shit. Yeah, I'm not but, doing that. Um, but um, I mean, you know, platinums. Like I, I mentioned, I joked about my name is Mayo. I mean, it, it was a joke, but it's real. Um, <laughs> but it's like I don't really, I don't really care. It's like I did it for fun. Um, that like, was it. Did, did you do? Did, did you? Did you? Um, did, when you bought my name is Mayo, did it? Did you get the other version? Because like my, 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 one version. my name is I Ketchup. I got no, no, <laughs> no. What happens is Mr. Masaji. I got that one. What happens is if you buy my my name is Mayo, you also get the my name is Mayo for the um for the for the other comp the for the, Vita. For the Vita. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if you get it all on one of them, then you it, it retroactively <laughs> uh, does it for the. That's how I got mine. <laughs> so, wait, wait, wait. so you only had to play one. I had to play it on both. No, I did. All you, all you need to do is just let it, it just retroactively does it. Oh, but you, it, it's after like you know, obviously the, the the two versions came out different times, so they have to mm. do that little thing. Yeah, <laughs> yo, uh, yo, Carlos, man, they got to do one for Hispanics called "My Name Is Picante." You know, yo, man, yeah. <laughs> yo, man. And by the way, it's like this is how much I care about platinums. It's like I have I I need two more trophies on Final Fantasy 15 to get a platinum. And I'm like, eh. yeah. I got that, yo. Uh, by the by the way, I got that. I got that motherfucking trophy, man. I got that platinum. You know, in Final Fantasy, need, that was not a bad one to be honest. The only one was again another fucking turtle. But at least this one, you just had to kill yeah. it. You know, you just had to kill it. You didn't have to grind on him. You know. And the only reason why I was so close to just getting the platinum is because I fucking love that game. Yeah, that game like, that was probably one of my favorite games of that year. So I just kept playing. I was like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just do, try to do everything. By the way, this may sound weird, and this is ma something Manny and I have said before. Like, it's also a way of like, again, it's gonna sound weird, like giving a game respect. If you really like the game, it's like, okay, I'm, I want to yeah. show my respect to this game by trying to get mm -hmm. the platinum. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I, that's what I like, and I don't. For me, if I don't get the platinum, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I mean, like I have a, quite a bit of games that I've been. You know, like I just I'm so close to getting the final the final bit of stuff, and I just yeah. haven't had the you know just I'm like all right I already finished it like Bloodborne I only have like one more trophy to get to that and and then I get the platinum. Um, this other game um, called Apotheon, I I got every single trophy inside of that game, and all it is I just need in order to get the platinum I have to just play the whole game over on extreme mode. Yeah, oh, okay. mm -hmm. Murdered Soul Suspect, I'm like two trophies away from the final one and I missed a few I missed a, a few of these um you know like collectibles and things like that. And the game's not a hard game. It's just like, yeah, you know, I already I completed the game. Uh, you know, maybe if I go back and uh, and if I feel the urge to play it and get the, the final trophy, but they're like these these things that I'm just at the cusp of getting the final trophy. Yeah. I'm the same way with uh, with Burnout Paradise. Like the only reason why I was trying to go for the platinum is because I was playing with Tony and and everyone else. I think I think Brian also was trying to get the platinum. Um, so I was like, okay, I'll just I'll just do it with them while we were playing. But then they stopped. I think they got it and stopped playing. I'm like, all right, I'm like three trophies away, but I'm, <laughs> no one else is playing. Is I'll I just stop. I was supposed to play with Brian on Bloodborne before you know Queen Yarnum, but mm -hmm. he's like he he did his little trick with the. You know, because if you um, um, the the save data trick, especially the first version of the game, you know, um, it has like a what are the a memory leak, 
So like, oh, okay. oh, he remember. jacked up his yeah, he jacked he, up his blood levels. He, he did all that that stuff beforehand. So he he just ran through the whole game, and yeah. then like once he got to the the chalice dungeons, I was like, hey, dude, you know, if you're in there, you know, we'll, we'll, you know, do some chalice dungeons. <laughs> And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I already beat the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Manny, I already beat the game. I'm sorry, Manny, I already beat the game. But wait, the game. I, he can still play with you. I've, I've helped people go through there. Yeah, as yeah, a matter of fact. I've different. I've talked to him. He's yeah, like, no, it's the time. time yeah, because, it's... like, you know, um, Chris got the platinum before, but he helped me get mines, you know. As a matter of yeah. fact, it was me, Chris, and Riku. He, the, both of them, yeah, they, already, they already beat the game. They helped me through it. Was, yo, I by the way, though, point. yo, those dungeons, Chris, even though you had already beat them, those things were kicking our fucking ass at some point yes man. some of them are cursed so they cut your life in half or oh they do man yeah, like, I'm, I'm i'm at one of the cursed dungeons i don't exactly remember which one yeah i, I can help I'm... you man you don't have I to would... twist my arm just, uh, just say <laughs> yeah, like, hey, yeah, i want to play some bloodborne oh. twist your arms yo, I helped, and shit. yo i helped brett so we we're playing dark souls 3 and he's like man i need this clan there's trophies for each um like group you join you know that like the 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 Praise the sun guys or all of yeah, that yeah. shit. So there's one that that the the, the trophy is like a, a a piece of a spine from a monster. It's like a vertebrae, right? So mm -hmm. he's like, oh, I need 15 of these. There's a trophy if you get 15 of them. But you have to invade a guy in that group and kill him, and you get one. So you mm -hmm. have to win 15 matches. I'm like, man, don't bother with that. I let Brett invade me 15 times, kill me, <laughs> get the shit, and it's like, there you go. But you know, yeah, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> oh man! Anyway, so, so, yeah. You boost. Yeah. yeah. Let move on. We have another question about trophies, man. I told you guys, man, we could go off on trophies all night. Oh man. yeah. You know. All right. Uh, this is from Ocean Lab 2000. What are your thoughts on games where you get where you got a platinum, but it wasn't 100 percent overall? Like when DLC was added, does it bother you? Yes, it bothers yeah. the shit. I'm yeah. like, yo, I already 100 percent of this motherfucker, man, and you take that shit away from me. But it overshadows. Yeah, it. but at the same time, I'm like, listen, I got the platinum. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know. That but happened it, but, with uh, yeah, Spider Man. The Spider Man. Spider -Man. Games yeah. always do that. I have I'll have 100 percent. The DLC comes out, goes to like 80 percent or 79 percent. Mm -hmm. But I got the platinum already, so I'm like, fuck it. Yeah, now. yeah. That, that like Vision did that. Always. Ba basically, knowing you have the plat or at least seeing the platinum, like okay, that that stems that that kind of evens out the annoyance you feel that that the 100 percent just whoop, goes down you know it's like come on man what the fuck is this bullshit you know for, for for me it doesn't bug me that much i'm like as long as if, if i had the platinum i got it i'm like okay but then i'm just look, i just look at it i'm like how like how the what the fuck what how does all this it's just, just the number just it just confuses me sometimes i'm like all right, whatever. Yeah, like we're you know, with Spider Man. Right. Everybody, everybody and yeah. their mama got the platinum of that, and then like a week later, it's like you're yeah. a, you're at ninety percent now. It's like what the fuck? Yeah, it's even lower now since the, two, the like those three other D DLCs came out. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Happened, something like that happened in um, what was it L A Noir? Yeah, in that's LA right. Noir, yeah, like, case it with the case files. Yeah, when they had yeah, like we got me and Tony got the platinum in that game, right? And then then the case files like um. Like they took that the the, the number so far down. <laughs> yeah, I was and like, but like, I got my platinum though. For me, I'm like, I played through all the because again, like you know, obviously, and you he went all Tony went all the way. Like he got all the different things in those things, so he kept his he kept his um um the DLC you know like with the the DLC trophy uh, thing high. Me on the other hand, I played all the DLCs, but I didn't get everything in them. So my uh, mine mine is all like low looking compared to his. Yeah, did I get a hundred percent? I know I got the platinum in that, but I don't know if I got a hundred percent in all that. Maybe I did. I don't remember. It's been a while. No, you did because I got like I have my I know my LA Noir is lower than yours. Interesting. All right, so yeah, we're generally not fans of those. I think I speak for the whole panel, right? It's like post launch trophies, like yeah, don't add them, don't add them. It, it, it's it's oh. thing, like it's like I saw some games. What they used to do is they used to make the post launch trophies not affect the main yeah um, they do that a lot more now which is good now. yeah uh, by the way and i'm just gonna quickly sneak this in here my most hated trophies of all besides glitch trophies for obvious reasons fucking m multiplayer trophies man those Online are the trophies. worst Online you know trophies. like oh, I, I remember um one of you guys in the chat gave me the exact number like i remember for kill zone 2 it was like kill ten thousand dudes like you know how long you have to farm for that shit like come on son you know but at the same time to be fair 
you know, Manny and I made some cool friends because of those trophies. Like we, you know, yeah. we got together with some guys on PlayStation, and we, you know, we we got it together and just got helped each other get trophies and stuff. So that's kind of fun. But at the same time, it's like, what if? When the inevitable happens, the inevitable happens when those servers are gone. That's it. You ain't getting no platinum, yeah. no platinum for you. You know. Well, how about if a what game just if the game drops at him and then nobody's no, playing no. this shit? A game that just sucks. So NBA, there was an yeah. NBA Live. It was on the Xbox and one trophy. It was like fifty points. It was some oh. ridiculous amount. And it was like you had to have fifty people in the lobby. Just be in the lobby with fifty people. The game was trash. There wasn't fifty people playing this shit. <laughs> and I remember people putting in forums so like, "Hey, let's all set up a time and a day we could all meet up and then just fill it up for an hour and then just spread the news out." And that's what how people were getting it. I never got it, but I saw other yeah. people on my list got it. Yeah. By the way, the game it was actually not kills on those resistance too. 10,000 kills and was it on ranked matches bro and he said he wow. said that's the only game that's the only trophy that prevented him from getting the platinum matter of fact and here's the you know talking about games where the servers are going down manny remember the shit we had to go through to try to get that brutal legend trophy oh my god brutal legend has the worst <laughs> online trophies and that and that and those count toward the platinum yeah and, and the reason they're bad not only were the trophies bad in themselves nobody played that fucking game you know so nobody even, played yeah. like uh, okay. This is Jack, Jack Black King? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, number one, number one, Brutal Legend is, um, it wasn't like a big, uh, like a big game when it originally came out, on both Xbox or PlayStation. Yeah. 3, number one, number two, most people who are probably playing it were probably playing it on Xbox. So we had double going against yeah. us when playing that game. Yeah, it, this isn't a case of like, oh, Banny and I were playing this game like a bunch of months after launch. Nobody's playing. No, we were playing it at launch. Nobody was playing this shit on PlayStation. So yeah. we had we had to stay on lobbies for hours just for the game to match us together because there was no yeah. invites in the game. So, you know, it finally matched us and we got another guy and then he, I think we messed up like, yo, we're trying to get this trophy. Hang out, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So and it, we it just was crud. just kept jump, you know, winning and losing and winning and losing and winning and losing. And then finally, we got the damn trophy. But man, yeah, online trophies are fucking terrible, man. All right, man. Uh, let, let's move on here to Mister Goose. All right, his first question: Does the panel genuinely believe that Sony will launch PlayStation Five? without a single first party ps5 only exclusive he goes i don't care about how nothing has been leaked i don't care how the sony pr machine has a new first party game has usually worked the only person i care about is how every sony platform whether home console or handheld has launched with at least one first party exclusive game all right he's basing this off of something i said last week so it's not really you're not really asking a panel you're asking me this but you know panel obviously answer basically i don't think for PlayStation 5, you're going to see a big triple A PS5 only game just because of the fact that if there were such a thing, we would have heard about it. The way things leak now, especially Sony, Sony is very bad at keeping secrets. They're fucking, The Last of Us 2 just got fucking leaked, the story. Sony is very bad with this stuff. If there's going to be a big game on the level of Horizon Zero Dawn 2 or something like that, we would have heard about it. So I am dismissing that all the way right not only because of that but because the playstation 4 has such a huge install base compared to the they're going to ship 5 million play, ps5 they say you're not going to sell 5 million at launch they're not going to put a big triple a game like on the level of ghost of shima or last of us 2 only on playstation 5 so that's why i believe you know there will be playstation exclusives but the big big right. ones are going to be available on on PlayStation 4 but with that said goose yes there will be PlayStation 5 only exclusives but i guarantee you they're going to be of the indie variety i'm talking about shit like I, Re Rezo Gun I or contrast you know what i'm saying so i'll let you finish up but i just want i just had to clarify that real quick like there will be PS5 only games yes there definitely will be but i am saying they're going to be of the indie variety your, again your Rezo guns your contrast shit like that some free to play games or whatever but like huge games on like you know, even on the level of Killzone, Shadowfall, and Knack, we would have heard about those games already, bro. This industry is very bad at keeping secrets. Sony is especially bad at keeping secrets. We would have heard about these fucking games already. So that's why I'm like, nope, don't expect. I know some dudes are out there hoping we're going to get a big surprise. Okay, that's great, but you don't get it. You don't expect it, bro. I'm just telling you right now, it's not happening. We'll probably get maybe something in the launch window, but again, 
I still don't even think we're going to get any big, like, exclusives for the console. I'm talking about major, big exclusives for maybe a year or two, kind of like this generation, you know? Anyway, Adam, what, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I, I thought about this when I first heard it. I was like, all right, well, what game are they going to have? And then I said to myself, you know what? I could see where it's not so much that it's new, but it's remastered and new that it skipped a whole generation, with meaning the PS4. And that's if we get an infamous collection fully redone for the PS5. I could see that. And that's yeah, really I could, skipped yeah. It, it skipped a whole generation. So it's not like, oh, well, you're just porting over something from the four. You never did it. Wait, what do you mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean it skipped a generation? Well, for the for Cole series. We didn't see. Oh, because we, we, we saw like literally yeah, had yeah, infamous second was, son. Yeah, that was gone. Yeah, but it was still an infamous game. It was still an infamous but game. It wasn't, you know? it wasn't the Cole series. You know, what I mean, a lot of people like the Cole series. I like the Cole series. Yeah, but and but, but let's just be let's just be let's just be clear here. Infamous series did not skip a generation. Just get that out there. No, all right. You know? Well, the Cole yeah. part, the okay. Cole story of Infamous, and a lot of people wanted that to come, and we're hoping that eventually they'll do a remaster, and they never did. They didn't do it. So I could see them saying, you know what, yeah, we don't have time for a big AAA, but we do have, I count that as a AAA game, right? You didn't count? No, it, uh, it, it, no, 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 Infamous is definitely a AAA, beyond AAA. Yeah, okay, so there you go. So the, I could see them saying, all right, listen, here's this, we didn't do it before, but we're doing it now, and it's going to be super fast, super beautiful, it's a big open world, right? And that's going to really show it off. Do you think so. they have enough time? They're releasing a new, brand new game, like, in a couple of months. It wouldn't be the first party studio doing it. It would have to be some third party studio that that was working on it. That's the only thing. Yeah. Because was Maybe, it Sucker yeah. Punch that did that, right? Yeah. And they they don't have time to do that shit. They're doing that other. Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, real quick, Ocean Lab says, "I hope the rumors are true." And there's a PlayStation Five reveal in May. Yeah, and, and I'm glad you say that because again, the the caveat I need to add to what I'm saying is again, I'm basing this off of what we have now. Things are obviously subject to change right sony could come out tomorrow about yo here's what we got for playstation 5 right my point is like things don't happen in a vacuum but even yes you know what i'm thinking about even in that case we still would have heard something by now man the oh fucking and, leak or something you know what i'm saying and don't get us wrong if they fucking announce a first party AAA, oh we'd love that shit much, we'd be fucking hype hell fucking yo listen obviously you know i'm speaking for everybody here we all want that we all we would love that like a real reason to get a place in five we would all, remember what i said i said actually adam you weren't here for this i said i'm not buying a place in five as long as there's no fucking point there's no fucking point you know but if you give me some worthy i would fucking love that but i'm saying based off history i don't think that's going to happen i'm not trying to be cynical i'm just being realistic here you know what i'm saying i again but again just so, you know in case you guys thought otherwise we would all love that shit. Like an actual PlayStation 5 triple exclusive worth getting the system for? Fuck yeah. That'd be amazing. You know? Yeah, pretty sick. But That's why I, the only thing I can think of is that they bring back an older IP, just really remastered, really done up, that wasn't done on the PS4. So no one could say, well, we just had that. It's yeah. got to be something further back. I could see them doing that. I mean, I don't know if they'll do that either, but they, I could see that, you know? I um, think, the, yeah. I think the, the one thing about it is that I don't think that there won't will be... It will launch this new fancy console without something to showcase what it does. God, I it, may not, it may not be, it may not be like, you know, I mean, it, it's, it could be something along the lines of even like, like, a, like, you know, something that does, that shows you all the things that it does, you know, but it may not exactly be in a game, you know, like, you know, to go back to the, Panasonic three, the uh, real three DO, that thing launched with you know kill with things that to play, but they also had a thing that sh literally showed you everything it used to do, and you also got to remember that's that's the old oh, days like a demo of, like the demo disc is that like the demo about? disc right. or like what if there was that or it's like okay it's not like there's there is a game you know there's a game that shows stuff that, that that it does but there's also a thing that shows you a bunch of stuff that. It's going to be. But Manny, I didn't send them a, a scan of my ear, so I won't get that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get the full effect. It'll be like, oh, click here if you have your ear scan. And I'm like, oh, I don't have it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, yeah. Yo, Adam, I'm going I'm to I'm scan something else and send it to him, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm, sure, I'm sure they're going to get a bunch of them. You know? I think that, I think that, I think that, that it'll be, it, there's a good chance it might be something like that. It's like, uh, like something, like a demo disc or whatever. On it that show that essentially shows you all the different things. <laughs> Is it have a demo disc with The Last of Us too? Because it ain't coming this year. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. Yo, could you imagine that, bro? Yeah. So we don't. I don't. 
I don't think they're going to launch with absolutely nothing. But oh, they're going to have some indie games. For, Sony has a bunch of those little studios. They're going to do some. I guarantee you that. There's you know? going to be. There's going to be still like. There's going to be like. Nat three. You know, like you know, like what you said, Rezo Gun, which was a really nice looking game. You know, showed you a lot of you know cool stuff that it could do. But yeah, I don't. I don't think that we're going to see something like on the level of a Killzone Shadowfall, or even you know maybe at yeah. best a, a, a knack ish game. Yeah, and 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 Killzone Shadowfall is a triple A game. It just fucking sucked. It just that's sucked. Yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of I mean that's the one thing everybody forgets. Like a lot of the consoles kind of released with these sort of like mediocre sort of games. Like, hey, it looks great. Oh, well, wasn't that good? You yeah. know, the bouncer yeah. for PlayStation Two. Yeah, PS3 didn't have what well, have resistance just was good. Yeah, but we're not really talking about the quality. Just like, hey, is it triple A or is it not triple A? Sketch, yeah. my man. So, thank you for subscribing again, brother. Appreciate that. And Thanks, bro. he says, this see, comes with a comment too. I want to petition for more demo of games that are coming out so I can see if I want to spend money on half of these boring games. <laughs> hey, you know, demos would be great, man. I don't know. I mean, I know why they don't do it because it costs them money and shit, but it would be great for the consumer, you know? Just saying, mm -hmm. and then it also exposes if the game is garbage. I mean, yeah. how many times did I think that's the reason they don't put out I'm demos. Like, bro. This was I was hyped, I'm not hyped no more. And a lot of people in the stock went down on it. Man, all right, bro, let's move on to the next one. Da, 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 da. All right, so why are some gamers dismissive of smaller indie type games besides playing them and just not liking them? Some people won't even play these smaller titles and automatically dismiss them. Why? I don't know those people. You well, if it looks fun. I mean, look at all the people that buy bullshit games on their phones. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like the people no, but he's, he's asking, what do you think of the people that dismiss those games? Well, there's people, I mean, you know, let me make an analogy. There's people who go to the movie theaters to go watch blockbuster movies, like, you know, those high... Oh, like the Marvel budget, movies and things Marvel like that. Marvel movies, action, Mission Impossible, you know, all of those. But, like, when you tell them, oh, go watch uh, Call Me By Your Name and say, I'm going to go watch that shit. Yeah, you know, well, that's, that's their preference. They might fall asleep during those separate things. They need the loud noises and pops and the, the flashy lights to, to keep them awake. And that's yeah. kind of a lot. I mean, there, there are indie games that do that. Um, but for the most part, it's like, there, you got your journeys, you got your Ori's, you got your Cupheads, Ori, you got your braids, you know, you got all my of those. Games. Pedro, my friend Pedro. I mean, Pedro is fucking yeah, nonstop yeah, yeah. action. Yo, man, are you um, drinking that Mexican cola, bro? Oh, it's Mexican. Oh yeah, yeah, it's my man, bro. my man. That's the Sweet. real shit. Yo, by the way, that soda right there. The, it, by the way, if you guys don't know the the sodas, you know, Pepsi's and, and colas and shit that comes in the in those like glass bottles and shit. That shit tastes the way you remember when you were a kid, you know? I got real sugar. Because it's made with real, real sugar. Yeah. 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 Real mm -hmm. sugar. Mm -hmm. Well, not Tony. When, when, when you were a kid. Oh, yeah. That's, true. Oh, that's, uh, right. <laughs> that's Not funny. in America. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, because I was a kid. But the thing is, even when America, for the first couple of years in the 80s, it, Pepsi tasted the same, yeah. right? And then in like the early 90s, I'm like, what's up with this Pepsi? Well, they did the new Coke thing and they switched the yeah. formula. Yeah, no, but but you're right. To be more accurate, that shit tastes the way soda used to taste back in Dominican Republic, man. Mm mm mm. And I got sidetracked. What the fuck was the question? Oh yeah, indie games. I'm just gonna say I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm, listen, I'm listen. I played enough. I can't. I you know I'm not gonna be here when these guys saying that I haven't. I played a ton of indie games. That's part of my job, right? Even though there are a lot of cool indie games out there. They don't excite me at the end of the day, man. I am that dude that needs the high spectacle shit. And Carlos doesn't actually reference me. I don't know if you were talking about me specifically. I'm that guy. If I'm gonna go see, if I'm gonna go to a movie theater paying fifty dollars, I better see some fucking special effects, some explosions. All, I want to see everything. I want to see that they threw money at this shit, right? Well, and, look, that most of those games aren't fifty dollars, though. Like, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking about. I'm talking about presentation wise. Yeah, for movies, obviously, like if I'm paying fifteen dollars, no, no, yeah, no, but no, 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 no. Indie games is a different thing. The price is, you know, when it comes to games, yeah. I, I don't, I don't care about price. It's more about the experience, right? Like when I'm playing game, I really appreciate when I'm like this game. You know, they threw fucking money at this shit. You know, as as and I said this a couple weeks. As much as I complain about Destiny, I like looking at it. I like hearing. I'm like, okay, these guys. Put money into this shit. This is high 
budget shit, and that's the kind of stuff I like playing. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I, yeah, like, I, you know, again, I enjoy stuff like Ori and Cuphead and all that stuff. That stuff's fun. But the production value is high. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, the, that is, the, those, yeah. Game, yeah. Theory See, game and, and that's the thing. That. See, yeah. that, those are the kind of games I want to fuck with because it looks like a triple A game, you know, and it plays like a triple A game, you know, like, the, the, let's just be honest here, there's a bunch of indie games you play, even the ideas may be cool, but the gameplay isn't there, or some bullshit, like, the, the, every, any, not every game, but a lot of indie games I play, there's always something that's lacking, you know, it's like, okay, you know, it, it, here's the thing about indie games, they serve a good purpose, because you can't really get experimental with the big triple A games, for obvious reasons, you know, they gotta make their money back, or whatever, so that's where you get good, good fertile ground to experiment, but at the same time, and I've said this, I think I said this last week, just because you're experimental doesn't automatically make you good, I'm I'm more partial to something I'm more familiar with than something completely brand new. I'm, you're never going to hear me go, oh, the, Brett says this shit all the time. Oh, this game wasn't innovative. I'm like, I don't give a fuck if it's innovative. Is it good? That's all I care about. Like, That's like going to a restaurant. Mm, th this hamburger tastes just like every other hamburger I've had. Like, yeah, but how did they cook the shit? How, what's the sauce on it? What's the cheese? You know, they, 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 like you've had all this shit before, but how did they put it all together? That's how I care about games. Like, you know, the way it's been put together. And again, with these indie games, I appreciate what these guys are doing. They're hustling. They're doing their thing. But nah, man, at the end of the day, I need those big spectacle games that we're like, they threw money at this shit. And I appreciate that. And it took a long time for Tony to even get his head, his, his, his head into that sort of space. Because like even like a long time ago, sometimes we'd be like, "Hey man, when you gonna try this game? You know, it's actually pretty good." Blah blah. blah. And you're like, "Ah, I don't want to touch those stupid indie games. They're a bunch of garbage." Blah blah blah. Yeah. And, that, to and be, to, by the way, Manny, to be fair though, to be fair, the reason I it had that metamorphosis is because I had no choice but to play these games for work. You know, exactly. like yeah, yeah. no, it, I would probably still be that same guy. I'm like, I'm not playing this shit. You know, and yeah, I'll, I'll be honest though, I, I'm gonna sound fucked up right now, but I'm gonna be honest. A lot of the indie games I've played in my life, if you were to take away all those experiences from me, I don't think I would have lost anything of value, to be honest. You know? And the thing is that, like, the one thing that, you know, and it's the one thing about it, though, is it it's a double-edged sword. Because some of those, 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 game, those indie games, you know, dictated what the future is yes. for the big AAA games. And it's, you can never forget... That all those classic games from when we grew up as kids, all would be considered indie games in, mm -hmm. by today's Oh yeah, standards. no, yeah, by today's standards, obviously. But back Street then, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, even but, though you see, even though you might, maybe some people may find that may think that's a. Uh, it's not a triple A game. That's not, you know, some people might think it's a triple A game. No, it's you not. Know, it's, no, it's not. It's, um, I'm yeah. glad. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead, finish off because I got. I got to jump I'm on that one. No, I was just saying. I'm. I'm glad you say that because yeah, obviously the old games that we grew up with, you know, they would definitely be considered indie games by today's standards. But you know, the reality is they were they were the triple A games of their day. And remember, actually, it's kind of interesting. Back in the day, it was actually easier to tell what was a triple A game than a non triple A game. You know, like when you play Final Fantasy VII for first time, like yo. These motherfuckers spend money on this shit. This is crazy right now. You know, like back then, AAA games were the best playing, the best looking. Nowadays, you could have a, a Killzone Shadowfall, perfect example. The game plays great, looks great, the game fucking sucks. You know, so those AAA values don't really help it. And I, I'm glad, you know, a little bit of tangent, but it's the same thing. At the same time, even though I prefer AAA games more than AAA ga indie games, I will. I'm not going to say every AAA game is the shit. A lot of AAA games are bad. As, but in general, most games are bad. Let's just be real. Like, what? 95% of video games are shit. Just like 95% of anything is shit. It, it, there's few things that are actually good, you know? But, yeah, I, there's... I mean, there's obviously so many games that, that, you know, have impacted me positively or whatever. But overall, they don't hit me as much as the AAA games. But as Manny said, and I've said it too, you need those indie games just to as like the the farming ground for new ideas that could eventually go back up to the AAA. So they serve their purpose, but they're not the main meal for me. They're like a like a fucking like a piece of candy or something that you have. Like yeah, that was enjoyable for me, but now I want a fucking hamburger. You know, uh, Chris, go ahead, man. What are you gonna say? Well, no, I I agree with Manny too. Like they 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 fill a niche that. Um much of the industry like started backing away from like think about the metroidvania games we love those games right yeah they they you know eventually konami and all these guys are like nobody wants to play that anymore everybody wants the 3d action adventure big 
big mm -hmm. budget experience, a huge cinematics or whatever. And then That's a few cool. guys will make a, a Metroidvania game. And then Igarashi is like, well, I'm going to bounce and make a Metroidvania. And then we fund it, right? And then it, bec then it, it gets like a AAA treatment. We get bloodstained, right? So sometimes indie can help s certain things come back where they think it's not viable. You know, even Mega Man. I don't think Capcom would have touched Mega Man unless Mighty Number Mighty Nine. Number Nine came and, and, and kind of failed, failed. You know, it failed. Right? But they but were like, oh, people interest. want this shit. No, yeah. people want Mega Man. That's what they realized. Like, oh, shit, we could just make this. You know, I'm going to say this right now. Uh, I, I realized this with indie games. I just realized the type of indie games I'm going to give a pass to. Old school retro ones, right? Sonic Mania, that's a, that's an indie game if you really think about it. Budget-wise, that's one of my games of the year. James, games of the generation, right? Streets of Rage 4. I can't. Fuck, I can't wait, talk. Wait. I can't talk about it right now, but... Okay, um, Bloodstain, right? Bloodstain. That's not that's an indie game, right? But to me, it's up there because it makes me think of the AAA games from back in the day. You know, think yo, that would have been imagine Bloodstain back in the day, right? People would have been blown the fuck away. Minds. You know, they would have been like, "What it the fuck is this shit?" Been, there would have been Bloodstain and Castlevania fanboys. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, so yeah, I mean, so I, I so I will give those games a little bit of pass, but at the same time, it's all how you do it, right? They had these games. I'm forgetting the name of them right now, but I, I review them. They're basically made by the Burnout uh, team, right? The you know members of the Burnout team and stuff. Basically, it's nothing but crashing in the whole game. And I'm like, okay, you got yeah. that bit of it, but I need creation, the rest. Creation games. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, Adam? Like, I'm like, yeah, it's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you could tell it's mad low budget and shit. You know. And, they and, didn't have the budget, but that's what people wanted. They wanted the crashing. Yeah, yeah no, I and I'm like, okay, that's cool that you guys did that, but at the same time, it's like it's mad cheap, so I can't really be fucking with it like that, you know? It didn't do well. Didn't yeah, do well. but that's what people want. Wait, yeah. can, can I can what's, I mention the elephant in the room? What's the elephant in the room? Sonic Mania is one of the games of the generation. For me, yeah, for me, for sure. I, you know how long I've been waiting twenty years for that game, bro. Twenty Dang. fucking years. I've been, I've been ever, since the late nineties. I've been like, can you know? Not not that late, like early two thousand. I was like, can we please get a two D Sonic game, please? Yeah, finally. they abandoned two D yeah. Sonic completely. And, and and you know, like it's like also the, the like you know the last they haven't like Sonic two D Sonic sort of Sonic games kind of stopped. Like the Dreamcast. I mean, the, excuse me, the Sega Saturn just. There wasn't even really a Sonic game. Yeah, for that you thing. you want to talk about skipping generations? Sonic skipped the generation yeah. right there. You know, because they couldn't pull it together because they were trying not only trying to make something new, but they were also they couldn't just pull it together. Yeah, I and I said this. I was either in my preview or my review of Sonic Mania. I said Sonic Mania is the Sonic Saturn game we never got. Mm. It, it really was, you know. But so yeah, for me, it's it's definitely up there. But again, Carlos, like I said, nostalgia. Is the the one loophole I have when it comes to indie games? You give me like an old school or like an old school franchise that I haven't seen in a while, revived, like Pants of Dragoon, bro. That's an indie game. I'm like, yeah, give me that fucking shit. Let's go. Streets of Rage Four. Like, mm, yes, mm. I, I'm looking forward to Streets of Rage Four. That's all I can say right yeah, now. When you get to play that game, you're, you're gonna you're gonna feel that. Is <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, oh um, man? I see what you're saying. Um, the only thing, oh yeah. What I was going to mention, I the reason why I mentioned the whole action movie blockbuster was it, like it wasn't ex like specifically because it, you fit that category. No, but Carlos, uh, you did you did <laughs> describe me perfectly. I was, no, I was <laughs> smiling, by the way. Yeah, I was yeah, smiling no. at every <laughs> thing that was coming out of your mouth. Your mouth <laughs> no, yeah, no, my, my ears were burning. I'm like, yo, Carlos, man, he knows, he knows, son. You, you, you know? no, 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 exactly, exactly. So the, when I started saying it, and I was like, that's the first thing that came to my mind, <laughs> and then I was like, oh, this shit is Tony. So I just kept, <laughs> Like during while I was saying it, I was like, "Oh, that's fucking Tony." That's me to a T. The, I looked at the chat and Manny was smiling. And I'm like, "Oh yeah, he knows." <laughs> that's me to a letter, man. It's like, come, I'm serious. I'm like, I, I got fifteen dollars and shit, potentially thirty if you're gonna buy drinks and shit or whatever, right? Am I really gonna watch two hours of two motherfuckers talking? No, I want to see some fucking special effects, some explosions, some action. I want to see some shit, you know? When, when uh, I mean, I, I, like me. I always like to go to the movies. Like, I always like going to the movies with my mom and going with friends and stuff. So, you know, like, when when me and Tony started, you know, first talking, like, years and over 30 years ago, and I'm like, you know, let's go to see this movie. And I'm like, ah, that's a stupid cartoon movie. I don't want to see that shit. 
So I was like, okay, I think I get it. I think he more he more wants to see like if we if Tony never went to the movies a lot, and when he did, it was usually for bigger sort of things. So I was like, that okay. So okay, if we're gonna go to the movies, we're well, you're not gonna go see fucking what was it Beauty and the Beast, right? But Tony might go to see fucking um, Independence Day, of course, or some other crazy ass movie, Terminator. Oh, you well, only, only, oh, a couple of sorry. times, a couple of times though, like a couple of times there were like you know obviously we we kind of fucked up with Tony, where it's like you know like a movie like Unbreakable. Where oh we yeah, like oh yeah, this might be a pretty cool movie. It might be about this, this and like and then, and then he sat down and he's just like, what the fuck was this shit? Yeah, Unbreakable. I mean, M Night Shyamalan in general is fucking trash, you know, and that movie's proof of it but that's a whole other story right there you know but yeah that there there, there are moments where we hit we saw movies and they were just we we, i we just just totally fucking missed the mark there was some shitty ass movie that we saw i will say there's a lot of movies though i'm more tolerant of like more talky movies at home you know i'll give you a perfect example this is gonna sound crazy, you guys. The first Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire when I saw it in the theater, I'm like, "This is fucking stupid." It took an hour for him to become Spider-Man. You know, I was like, "What the fuck is it? Why is this taking so long? Get to the fucking shit already!" You know. But then when I saw it at home, I'm like, "Yo, this movie fucking dope." You know. And I, this is a controversial one, even though it's not a good movie. I ended up liking it anyway. Ang Lee's Hulk. When I saw it in the theater, I'm like, "What the fuck <laughs> is this shit?" You know. Then I saw it. At, yeah, the, no, no, not the Edward Norman one, the, the, the Ang Lee oh, one. Oh, uh, yeah. the um, Banner, Banner. Yeah, yeah, so, but then when I, saw, when I saw it at home, I'm like, oh, okay, I see what they were trying to go for. This is kind of cool. I see what they're, what they're trying to do here, but don't get me to see a kind of movie like that in the theaters. I need a fucking spectacle, you know? I need to I see never, some shit. I, I, my mind never changed on that movie. Yeah, no, I man. Never like that, yeah. that, that. I mean, yeah, there was a... There was some stuff like you know some film stuff that he was doing. I was like, hey, that's cool. You know, I like Ang Lee's you know other other films, but but also you know he is the same guy that made Sense and Sensibility, right? <laughs> Making a Hulk movie. Yeah, that that was a weird one. Anyway, uh, Brett, what's going on, brother? Or was it the Joy Luck Club? I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Figured I'd sign at the last minute, uh, you know, quarantine drama I'm putting out. Every, everybody's going yeah. crazy right now. Actually, Brett, I'm, I'm gonna say. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Uh. Manny, Adam, it's great to have you guys back. Hey, yeah, man. So I, right, I, I did, you, I did you get your message, and I you did get me hyped with that fucking uh, the the skate XL. I can't wait for that shit. Dude, I'm so excited. <laughs> I, I hope it plays as good as it looks. That's Yo, right. if it plays half as good as a, it, I'd take a game half as good as Tony, as Tony Hawk at this point, or skate. Yeah, like yeah. even if it's a hybrid, that's kind of crap. I want I want that genre, man. Yeah. Yo, and, and Brett, and Brett yeah. It, you know, I, it's I just it's always good to have you just like just you know jump talk a little bit and you know uh, yeah just thanks man yeah and uh, you know y'all good people i like you so <laughs> you're like my online family so my man except, except for brian man that guy. <laughs> fuck yeah, that guy a little, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah by the way brett you came here at the perfect time the next question is right up your alley man are oh, you... I didn't even know if there was gonna be any questions. I just wanted to jump in and tell you guys, hey, what's up? Yeah, no, we so, still have. Oh, ha- yeah, let's yeah, do no, this. yeah, we still got half a show, man. Uh, but oh, it, fuck, well, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, but again, you you came at the perfect question. Obviously, everybody, but I want you to answer first. From my man Damien, what's going on, Damien? All right, who is the best, or in this case, the baddest between Sephiroth and Kefka? He goes. He he says he he says I personally think Kefka was the baddest, while Sephiroth wanted to destroy the world. Kefka did. Oh no, if we're talking in terms of like, like badass, like who's the cooler or like who's the worst? No, like, who is the it, baddest it's bad Kefka, guy? It's, Ke- it's, it's Kefka. Kefka. That's Kefka the correct answer. Bro. Is genuinely okay. Imagine giving the Joker complete control over a military army, <laughs> and then yes. have an experimental division that is like draining the magic out of shit and then give him the ability to literally sunder the world. And then he does. I mean, it's just, I'm not going to break off too much in case when he wants to, I'm, I'm, all of you should go back and play final fantasy. Yeah. You can spoil that shit. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. Play it. Well, I'm just giving the highlights. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, 
Kefka, a hundred, like, he was horrifying in the video game, his weird little laugh, the fucking, <laughs> the, when, he, when you look at him in the art books, he, he looks kind of Jokerish. It's he is the thing that the Joker should have kind of leaned towards, and it was unsettling and horrifying and awesome, and Seth, Seth Ross was just kind of a badass, he's an extension of the planet, it's, it's just, he's a result of an experience. Hey, there that, you go. That's cool, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. No, no, Brett. He, oh. this thing, here's the thing about like Sephiroth. Once you get to know him more and shit, like you understand, like okay, we kind of understand why he's doing what he's doing. We understand it. Kefka is just evil for evil's sake. He is just a, a sadistic, evil, slimy bat, and he loves being evil. That's the thing. Yeah. He loves it. You know? Yeah. He, he's ge- he's genuinely insane. He's got a- any complex he has twice. Yeah. Like yeah. Well, exactly. Also- yeah. By the way, uh, Carlos. He, by the way, um, um, Hunter Hunter, right? What's the name? What's the name of the main um, that, that freaky clown dude? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hisoka. Oh no, he, what's his, his name? No, no, no. Hisoka. Yeah, it, Hisoka. Yeah. For when I saw him, I'm like that's fucking Kafka, bro. Right. That's the first Man. thing I thought, I'm like, that's Kafka. You know? Nah, his Hisoka's not not that evil. No, no, but you know, I get visually wise and yeah, like, visually yeah. definitely, yeah. Yeah, but like but, obviously when you get to know him, like okay, he's not as crazy, but like when you first first meet him, when you're like, yo, what is up with you? I was like, that's fucking Kafka, bro. Yo, fucking. But the the thing with Sephiroth is, like like you guys mentioned, he was a good guy for like yeah. most of his life. Um, and kind of. Yeah, well, he was working for Shinra, but uh, like, but he wasn't. He wasn't. In Final Fantasy VII, he wasn't around the game. From he was he was around for like, like what twenty five percent of the game, like the the re- a lot of it was like his likeness that was out. It wasn't actually him. Yeah, Kafka was yeah, there was the him. whole time, basically. You know, right from the beginning. That I'm pretty sure he did some evil to his mother in the womb. That's how bad this guy is. Dude, you know, right? Well, dude, Sephiroth is the embodiment. And I to- don't get me wrong. Like this is where I had to clarify. I think Sephiroth is a really interesting character and one of the better villains that I've seen because it's my firm belief that a villain have a clear motive that you can identify with. That's what makes the best villains. When you yeah. have, when you actually sit, when you sit back, you're like, I mean, he's kind of got a fucking point. That's probably not the way to solve it, but he's not wrong. Um, and that that was that's Sephiroth. I mean, you look at the situation, even as you're like trying to murder him you're like i mean dude i get it i totally get it you just can't murder everybody yeah you by the way uh, another example sketch puts out kefka poisoned a whole village for kicks yeah dude <laughs> that's, that's what i'm saying like for fun like he was experimenting with like his like like weird like nazi like they're, they're just like finding new and innovative ways to kill people not not because they need to because like Kefka's bored of the old ways. Yeah. Like, it's, By the it's, way, I need, yeah, no. I, I need to do this. Um, it's funny we're talking about Final Fantasy VI. I actually pulled out something from the past, from Vita right here, right? Mm-hmm. And what game do I happen to be playing on it? Oh, no. oh. Final Fantasy VI, man. What, what, you know? Does that shit have trophies? Uh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> this is the original PS One. Can you guys hear the music? Let's see. There it is. Oh God. Yo, I'm telling you right now, man. I'm going to play this list to get to the battle scene. Dude, that game was formative for me. I still remember. I don't know how I remember these kind of details. I rented that game three times from Blockbuster so I could get three uh, weekends worth of play into it. By the fourth one, my parents pointed out, like, you'd be better off saving the money for a game. I played through the beginning of that game three separate times because somebody erased my save somehow. Oh, uh, oh uh, no! It was because it was saved to the game cartridge. Sketch. What are you talking about? I bought this on the PS for PS One Classics, bro. I bought this shit. He's like, how are you doing that? Yeah. Oh, yo, Brett, check this out. Check this out. See, tell me if you hear it. Hold on. Yeah, you know, has to load on PS One and shit. You hear that? Uh, 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 dude, I've been having. I've, the Final Fantasy nostalgia has been so real. Like I've been uh, listening to. Didn't play some. Um, he's gotten actually further into it than I have because I've been doing some home remodel stuff. Um, but like, I like, I just like was walking by today and I heard like a tune. And I was like, stopped and I was like, "Fucker, that's the Chocobo song. It's the Chocobo race song." And I popped my head. Yeah, up. man. Chocobo here. What's going on? I, yeah. 
I just imagine Brett just like so, 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 so. yeah. Is By the way, you know, um, I'll plug plug right now. If you guys want to check out our Final Fantasy VII spoiler cast, do that. It is up now. We talk about the music extensively because Brett, tell me that the game doesn't like just throw you back at points. You're like, oh shit, I'm back in 1997, bro. With just because Dude, of the music, like you know? Yeah, like, and it's 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 such a weird thing to have a thing throw you back so hard and honestly so far because. Like to put that in perspective, old guys like me and Tony, hmm. it throws you us back Tony. to like, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Brett. Well, okay, I know Tony's this, but Tony, I don't care what the actual age is. Tony's the oldest person here. Okay, even though I think Adam's probably the oldest one, but you're right. Yeah, I'm the oh, oldest Adam in soul, you know. But Adam's like physically, yeah. old. but Adam also looks the youngest out of all of us. So you know, take that <laughs> how it is. Wait, <laughs> don't I get you. Oh. I'll be 43 in August. I'm 42. Yeah, so am I. There we go. All right, we, when's your birthday? Oh, you guys aren't that fucking. I thought you guys were older, older than me and what shit. What do you mean? I'm oh, 55 oh, years old. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you motherfuckers were older, older. You ain't that no, full, much no. older. Than, yeah, like two years I older damn. than me. Yeah, so it's so basically the oldest guys is Chris and Adam, then me and Manny, and then, you know, Brett, you're like somewhere in the middle because you're like in your late 30s now, right? 36. 36. But it still trips I remember when I first met you, you were just turning 30. So in my mind, you're still 30. You're perpetually 30, you know? I, I, I haven't actually grown as more of an adult since then, so yeah. you're probably pretty correct. Yeah. You, damn, Brett, isn't that crazy? I've known you for six years already, man. It's like, fuck. <laughs> That's Time crazy. Flies, man. It really does. Anyway, um, yeah, Final Fantasy VI. Oh, yeah, Final Fantasy VII. Check out the spoiler alert. Anyway, uh, I think, yeah, Kefka, Kefka wins, man. Kefka's just... I for yeah. me, I uh, like and he's not listed on there, but I always thought that Gobez was the ultimate evil, and then Ke Kefka came. Yeah, I <laughs> then, Ke really... then Kefka came. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, mean, I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't even really consider. I, I, I considered Sephiroth evil, but I don't really like. He was like light evil. Yeah, he. Yeah, it, he, uh, to me, I kind of. Like, yeah, go ahead. It was a more complicated, like the like he's like, if you. You, you you go deeper into Magneto and you know, Magneto. I was just about to say that. I was just like about Magneto, to say that. where it's like Magneto's evil, but once you find out he's he's evil, it's just like there's a lot of things that are sort of relatable. And you know, Sephiroth's got all these like family issues. His fucking dad was a evil fucking mad scientist who experimented with his mother's cells and the fucking Genova shit. Well, I mean, each of those guys had a goal. Kefka was just like, the world burns. Like, yeah. I'll it's, just burn everything. Yeah, it's like, it's like, why does yeah. Kefka do what he does? Because he likes to, what do you mean? Like, was there some child, has all his drama? No, he just likes being evil. That, that's yeah. Kefka right there, you know? Yeah, oh, man. And yeah. Gobez had also had like, had like a goal like that he needed when he wanted to fulfill. You know, but yeah. it wasn't it wasn't ending the world. Yeah. By the way, I, I just a quick tangent, but we're still talking about Final Fantasy. What ha the, what prompted me to start playing the PS or PSP PS Vita version of Final Fantasy VI is because I have to actually never finish the whole game. I played some of it, but not a lot of it or whatever. I so I was like, hey, the game's on Steam. I bought it on Steam. Let me play. Yo, the Steam version of Final Fantasy VI is fucking terrible. You know what it is? It's a port of the iOS version of that game. So it has like, you know, like pop up shit all over the place. I'm like, this is and the, and the sprites look bad. I'm like, what the fuck is this bullshit? I put a mod on it that made it look more old schoolish, but even then, it didn't look old school enough. So I'm like, you know what? I bought the game on PS PS1 Classics. I'm putting that shit on my Vita and just started playing. I'm like, oh, that looks and sounds so much fucking better, man. You know. See, yeah. Final, Square, you fucked up. I'm sorry. I love you, Square Enix, but you fucked up with the. You got to re-release that like properly. The, you know, all the ports of a lot of their older games are kind of kajiggered weird versions. Even the one that's uh, the Final Fantasy VII that's been put on the, the PlayStation Four and it's been ported to the 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 Nintendo and stuff. That's a a weird version of the game. It's based off of the PC version, and the PC version is kind of fucked up and weird. That's the one that it was ported by Eidos Entertainment. Yeah, man. Here's so, the thing. Uh, here's what this all these weird things that kind of go over. The yeah. be at least the best way to to play as intended Final Fantasy VII is to play the original PlayStation One. Yeah, and I'm gonna say this. Here's what disappointed me the most about those ports of the you know Final Fantasy V and VI, right? Final Fantasy IV, they they through that on the PSP, it is fantastic, the remaster on that. They Imagine Final Fantasy IV, but with Final Fantasy VI 
graphics, but even more shit on top of it because we got you know PSP technology. They look so good. I'm like, why didn't you do six in this vein, man? It would have been fantastic. But no, they had to yeah. do some shitty mobile version. Again, there's all this stuff popping up on the screen, which makes sense if you're playing a mobile game. You got to tap, but I'm like, why is all this shit on the screen? And if I have a controller, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is this bullshit? So I'm like, I'm going to the old school. Fuck this shit, you know. And question, question, Tony. Go, oh, what's up? Trigger. Yeah. Chrono Trigger is another really shitty one that they did. There's a, there's a few, a bunch of other ones that are just ports that they put on there. I yeah. mean, granted, you can actually play them, but they're just not the way to play those games. Yeah, they're not bright. What's up, bro? If they remade Final Fantasy VI today, yes. would you want it turn-based? Well, you know, my answer is obviously would be yes, but I know they're going to do a live action or whatever, you know? Ah, it just ruins it. It would ruin it, Tony. <laughs> it would ruin it? Uh-oh. Yeah. Hey, it listen. would ruin it. Yeah. It's the synchronicity between your party members that's beautiful. Like, I, I, and I, I am curious, like, does, did anybody play Final Fantasy and be like, God damn it, I wish this was turn-based? Seven? Oh, yeah, all the time. Sometimes. What's yeah. Yeah. I saw there was an option that you yeah. can change the control. But, but it's not. No, it's not. No, 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 no. It's, it's bullshit. No, it's By the way, either. again, don't get me wrong. I think Final Fantasy VII's combat, the remake, is great. It's, it's a, I liked it, and I said this on the podcast. I appreciate the fact that it's still strategic. Brett, you could at least admit that. It's still strategic like a, like a oh, turn base. It's still strategic, and but, it's way yeah. more fun than I thought. I have to give this point. Yes, to yes. Props. But at the, uh, yeah, it, you know, the, the combat is great. I thought it was not going to be as good, but Brett, at the end of the day, despite how great it is, I was still wanting it to be turn based because it has that old school feel, man. You know, that like, I don't know, man. Um, it's, it, yeah. you, you, it's not as technical. Like, I remember at the time, like, this person was coming up next, and so you're having to like stack because then they're gonna get an attack if you want to make sure you heal. Like, it's more, it's it's more technical. It, it's more strategic. In this game, it's like, yes, there is a little bit of, hey, other character do this, but I'm going to be honest, and maybe this is just the Souls player me, they never get the fucking chance. Every time, every battle, like most of even most of the boss battles. Their gauge does not fill up before I <laughs> that's beat right. the boss. Yeah, that's because you got to keep switching them to get their gauge up and shit. You know. Yeah, you got you got to switch the characters. And the thing that pisses me off about the most about the combat combat is that the enemies always go towards you more than any of the other yeah. characters. So you like what I do, but I use that to my advantage now. I'm like, okay, I want this character to do something. Let me use this character first, draw the enemy, and then I'm going to use this character to do what I actually want to do. And it actually works that way. It's weird, do, you know? And do the and do the 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 magic spell that takes forever to fucking Yeah, launch. exactly. Yeah. And there's like like with one boss specifically, I'm like, okay, I, I tested I'm like, let me keep switching characters. And the, and the boss literally just kept turning around to whoever character I was. I'm like, that's interesting. So I started using that to my advantage. But anyway, Let's not go down that road. We already have a, a podcast for that. Oh, so last thing. I know, I know, I know, I know. We yeah. got a podcast. I got to put it in my saying here. Like, yeah. it, it, it makes it. I'm just gonna say it. It makes it too easy. I have not had. Oh any no, Brett, get it. deeper, get deeper. I'm gonna say this right now. Final Fantasy VII remake is the hardest Final Fantasy game I've ever played. I, I was get. I've never used as many Phoenix Downs in this game as I have in all of the Final Fantasies put together. Holy shit, it gets insane. Yeah. You know. Dude, I've, and I realize I'm not that far into it. I'm probably like, I've, I've just got through all the slums. Yeah. And like, uh, which is not all that long after the motorcycle thing. And I'm still like, maybe I just haven't hit that point. Like, I have not fainted once. I have not had a party member faint once. I have not gotten below 50% health. And I've wrecked every battle in less than 30 seconds. And that's not meant to be a flex. That's just, why are you going to give me the ability to fight? And then only give me enemies that, like, drop in 20 seconds. Like, I can barely get two special moves off on these guys. There's no there's no chance to dance the dance of chaos. <laughs> yeah, no, you'll, you'll get there. Trust me, the game gets fucking nuts, you know? Yeah, it, we'll it, yeah. All right, man. But then again, you're a Souls player, so you're probably used to shit like that. <laughs> you know what I'm Dude, saying? That's, that's what I was telling I was telling Boris. I was like, the problem is, I am a Souls player, so I'm used to watching for, like, telegraphs. And this game, not only do you see the telegraphs, they put them at the top of the screen. It will say overhead smash. And the guy will go to like lean back his arms, do an overhead smash and be like, oh, I don't know. You got a letter about this move last week. Maybe I should, I don't know, move out of the fucking way. <laughs> or block. But I think that's what really hurt me in the end of the game. It's like, Tony, you should block. Because I, I dodge. My natural inclination is to dodge, but dodging doesn't work as well in this game as blocking does. I realized what just experiment. I'm like, blocking 
negates like 95 percent of the fucking damage i take as opposed to dodging because my again my natural inclination is to dodge but so i never really block i'm like fuck block i'm just gonna dodge but dodging always gets me fucking killed you know so there is no dodge oh there you don't no you just block everything see that's there why you're doing good so no 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 dodge there is no block i spoke wrong there is no block block does there's there's no such thing. It doesn't exist. Interesting. All right, Not I would, my world. Yeah. In every <laughs> single game, it's unrelenting offensive force. I told him I was talking about this earlier. It's like, but like the first like two and a half months, I didn't know what the block button on Street Fighter was. <laughs> I have <laughs> never back. once. I have never once used block in Mortal Kombat in the new Mortal Kombat. You wow. don't need to. You just come at somebody like a crazy freight train every time it works. Every time. <laughs> oh, man. I want to see you play some of these crazy guys online, man. Uh, on, um, on Mortal Kombat. Cause I'm pretty it's sure really that. not as fun as you think because usually the people who like I end up running into have the same idea as me. And so it ends up being like like the equivalent of two guys standing there trading punches until one of them just knocks out. It's just <laughs> you know, unrelenting, chaotic uh, combo small break in it and then it that person just gets their ass handed them for like 15 seconds and then it's just back and forth and then somebody dies it's, it's not really as interesting as you'd think now oh, smash man. brothers that's the game where you get the real in my opinion like the real high skill ceiling if you want to separate players man that's where you get it and i know you don't believe that but that's, that's yeah opinion, <laughs> all right we're not going to go down that road right now but um anyway next question all right damien i had to heavily change this question because your question was super spoilery but if you want an answer to your specific question please check out the spoiler alert of final fantasy 7 remake that's up right now it answers your question in full so i had to change your question around i try to keep the spirit of it but again yours was super spoilery so i couldn't i'm not gonna ask that anyway so the revised version of the question is final fantasy final fantasy 7 remake changes some aspects of the original story how would you feel if the next games games potentially made bigger changes that completely deviate from the original? Would you accept that? For me, uh, as a person who hasn't really, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to actually play the game. I'm at this point in time, I have my memories of whatever Final Fantasy VII is, and I'm willing to let them stay as they are, and uh, you know. If there are some changes and things about this new one, I'm okay with it. You know, I've, you know, if I really, really, really wanted to play the game as I originally, that I remember, I can always, you know, start up my old PSP, put in my old, you know, play, you know, play it on my old PlayStation One. So for I, me, it aged so badly though. Listen, you got to look at it. You got to look at it in the time frame that it was made. Final Fantasy VI. If you're, gonna, if, you're, if, you're, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're gonna expect everything to look like you, what you remembered it from the, from that time, it's not gonna live up to that. Oh and no! I'm fully, I... And I'm fully as as a person who's who's you know who has been in that era. I'm fully, I'm fully, I accept it for what it looks like, and for what it continues to look like. I mean, sure, <laughs> sure we can have a you know, especially sure we can all have our shiny new um you know. You know, remaster, remake, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. You know, for the newer generations, or you can go back and you know play it as intended. You know, <laughs> and I, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, so if it means that this 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 new version decides to go deviate in all kinds of other different ways, I'm okay with that. You know, because my memories are, are intact. If I ever really got the urge to go back in time and play the game as I originally remembered it. That's perfectly fine. Uh, for my answer, check out the podcast. I'm not going to say any more. What about the rest of you guys? Um, I, I mean, I'm with Manny pretty much. If you want the like the pure experience, like just play that. I, I'm I'm fine with them doing you know changes like this. this is like, how, how should I put it? Like whatever, whatever they're trying to do is whatever they're trying to do, and if people don't like it, um, you know they got they got the original game, man. Because that's it's hard it's hard like when when they're trying to remake games and they, you know maybe there's some some aspects that like small aspects they're trying to change and stuff like that, and people don't like it, then just you always have the original. 
I mean, you guys do realize the businesses are perfectly fine looking out for their self-interest that you can look out for yours, right? Like you don't what need do you to mean? see everything because oh, because I'll be honest. Hey, you you all say that, but everybody that I've talked to, and hey, Carlos, maybe you'll disagree, would have preferred this game to be turn based. They I will take prefer, it for what I would. I would have. I would have preferred it to be turn based, but that does not agree with the current world. Well, yeah, with the market. Yeah, you know, like the you know. That, yeah, like even yeah, even, even in 1997. People, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You know, people, as sad as it is. How many, how you know, and granted, Final Fantasy VII is, was one of the best, uh, one of the RPGs that did the best at that time. But at the same time, there's a shitload of people who bought that game who had fucking buyer's remorse. They're like, fuck this game. Why can't you control the characters? What's this bullshit? How come they don't look like the, the cinematics all the damn time? <laughs> this shit is not new. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it would just get I, I mean, I'm not gonna get angry that it, that when they remake Superman, that it doesn't have fucking Christopher Reeve in it, uh, or it, it doesn't have the same story. It's just the way it is. And I, you know what? I'm okay with going back. Uh, Super, you know, Christopher Reeve is, will always be my fucking Superman. It just, just doesn't have to do with an actress. It has to do with a story. Line. It doesn't have to that, do with a franchise. It has to do with an actual story. I'm they saying change. what I'm They're saying. Not, is things constantly get remade and reconjured and reconjured? But no, they don't. Are, yes, they do. But the, they don't. So get, is Superman is Superman. Many, many, many. Let, let, let Brett finish. Man. Yeah. Superman is a franchise and a character with a million stories. You can do anything you want with Superman. Let's take Back to the Future. Is it okay to go back and redo Back to the Future and change it? No. They would have done it if it wasn't that the writer. The writer no, doesn't I, want to do it. He's blocking dude, it. They and that's what I'm saying. That. It's a oh, bad man. idea because it's a bad idea. And everybody who hears it is like, that's a bad idea. It doesn't need done. I don't want anything changed. And they are going to ruin it. Like it's it's just because something exists. I, I don't know how to put it. I'm just going to say you can't use Superman as an example because that's a franchise. That is not a story. We're talking about changing a singular story. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, even even with that, even if they remade Back to the Future, you don't have to watch it. Like, I, mm. I've heard the same thing from other Star Trek people when the J.J. Abrams movies came out. They're like, this is an insult. They're redoing Captain Kirk and all that shit. I'm like, we, all, we have the old movies. I can go watch the It's not like they took it away from me. I don't have to accept the new movies. I could be like, all right, fine. Let them do what they want. I, won't, I just won't watch it. Okay, I, so I watch them, and, and I enjoyed some of it. Some of it I didn't mm -hmm. like. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to, I want to, I want to make sure what I'm hearing here. So what I'm hearing is, if you really want to play the game, that the old version is just as good as a brand new remake would be. Is that what you're saying? Saying that it's just as good as as the old. Yeah, one? yeah. That the old one is just as good as the remake. Well, I'm saying, I'm saying is that the the you know I'm not I, I, can I can I suggest it to people? Yes, I can suggest it to people. But at the same time, I also have to, you also have to not live under a rock and think that you can get a that you can say say uh, to to tell somebody to play a, a, a over twenty year old game and expect them to enjoy it the way I did. It's not going to happen, dude. RPG uh, real uh, turn based is not as far fetched as you think. Like XCOM just came out. Like there are games that are turn based. Yes, but the thing is, I, I just quickly maybe I think I know what you're going to say. Yes, XCOM is you know turn based and it does very well. But it ain't blockbuster selling. Like turn base is, you know, I, I mean, it was back then, obviously back in the day. But think nowadays, the combat is the thing selling Final Fantasy. Do you think that people are like right, it, the combat yeah. in this game is no, the most amazing yeah. thing ever? I think Square Enix thought that it needed to be changed. That's why yeah, they took but, it. No, well, it's no, it's they know it's modern it's audiences. You know, I'm talking. We're talking about yeah. casual people. They don't like that. They like you know action games. That's what they, they want. Like shiny games. That's it. And this is the current shiny, buddy. Yeah. Um. I, and by the way, Brett, I was one of the. I mean, I'm one of the people that would have preferred uh, turn-based because I played the original as turn-based. That's and everybody. I, and, but no, that's not. That's that's us. No, I have not heard. I I personally, and I know that they're out there, but I have personally not run into anybody who's like, yeah, I really just like the combat mode better. I, I don't. I, I. They shouldn't have made this turn-based. They made the right decision. Like, I have yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. Sure this by the by the way. Yeah. By version. the way, Brett. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know. And again, I know you don't like me using this as a thing, but based off my Twitter, everybody's like, I'm glad they didn't make this shit turn-based. This is fucking better. <laughs> they okay, all say that. Here, you know. Here, like I'm saying, I can't trust my opinion because it's anecdotal evidence. 
yeah. can't so share opinion because yeah. it's anecdotal evidence. Mm-hmm. Exactly, so, yeah. I, I understand that. So my, when we're asking, uh, in terms of my opinion, no, if you are remaking something, it should be an homage to the thing. You only need to remake something. For the most part, you don't need to remake stuff. Most of the time, it's a monstrosity. The only time you do is if the source material is... I don't know, no longer relevant. Like, if you are republishing a book that was written 200 years ago and half the words that people don't even fucking know anymore, yes, you can make a translation and re-release. Does that mean that you just get to add stories? No, it doesn't. Does it mean you get to add chapters? Absolutely not. You are faithfully reproducing the source in a new medium and shining it up. Like, I'm not even necessarily... Yo. I gotta interject. I'm sorry. Didn't you call this a reboot? Uh, No. No, they 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 keep saying it's a remake. No, you you said it was a reboot. Yeah, game... and that's the problem. It's a reboot. It's a reboot in disguise of a remake. It's called Final Fantasy VII Remake, not reboot. Yeah, but I mean, if you if you're saying that this is a reboot, and they and 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 what you're saying like is like it justifies it being a reboot, like not all just like the, st- the but, little story, the thing. combat, it's, and all of that. It's not a reboot. You you said it was a reboot. What what is the name of the game? What is no, the that's full what title? No, 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 I'm no, saying no, that's hey, what. Blah, 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 blah. Answer my question. What is the full name of this game? Final Fantasy Remake. But I'm saying that's what there you're you saying. I'm yeah, not talking no, about no, them. I'm talking Bre- about you. Yeah, Brett. I'm sorry, but you two weeks ago you said that this is not a remake. You said it's a reboot. You said and that. You spent three problem. hours on that. Didn't you? Well, I know. <laughs> that's exactly. I'm not being inconsistent here. Okay. That's the problem. A reboot is when you change shit. A remake is when you remake and release the game. They're calling it a remake and they're changing a bunch of shit, which is where my problem comes from. But you said, so here's the thing. You said it was a reboot even before the game came out. So it, yes. like you were expecting changes and, you still play, and you're still playing it. Does it playing not it matter what's on the front of the fucking box? Does, that, does the literal name of the it thing matters, not it matters, matter? It matters, but it doesn't mean they're right. No, it's, it, I, I, so what's your point? Like, but we're talking about whether I think you should no. change things in a re. Hold on. The question is, should you change things in a remake? And I said no. And you said, well, you said Final Fantasy VII was a reboot. Okay, I don't understand how that has any no, no, no. correlation. That was the original discussion. You went on a topic where you're like, no, this game, this game, like, is a if it's a remake, it shouldn't do it. But you said you established beforehand that this was a reboot. So are you okay with it if if this is indeed a reboot? Like you but said, but it's it not was. officially a reboot. That's my. If they had called it Final Fantasy <laughs> Reboot, I would be okay with it. Yes, that is the answer to your question. But they don't. It's Final Fantasy Remake. And even though I recognize it as a reboot, it's still supposed to be a remake. They so, sold me on a remake, and they did not give me a remake. They gave me a reboot, which is an entirely different product that I am not so thrilled about. And that but has you been still consistent. Bought it, yeah, I did. Because you knew it. nostalgia. And you knew and you knew it was going to be a reboot, and you were still and you're still like, I'm yeah, getting because, it. Yeah, because because like everybody else. My only way back to play Final Fantasy is in this new way. It's this or nothing. Because the old Final Fantasy VII doesn't hold up. It's bullshit old. It is the worst fucking graphics in, like, the history of video gaming. At least Polygons had fucking charm. PlayStation, or, like, a, a bits had charm. The first generation of PlayStation looked fucking god-awful. It's just Laura Croft and her pointy boobs. Like, it was not good. I have gone back and I have played the Final Fantasy, uh, the original Final Fantasy. And I'll tell you, it's not as good as if it were remade up to these standards. People think that it might be, but it's not. It's not. Yes, it's shininess and it's prettiness and it's all this stuff. But it's the ability to move the character, the, the camera around. It's the ability to see the actual places fully fleshed out and fully rendered as opposed to a basic idea where you need to fill in the middle gaps. Right, like there's 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 perfect reason for building an actual reboot, and it is honestly to be preferable than going back and play the original. Everybody says, "Oh, you can just go back and play the original." Like you can, but it, you also can't. And it's not because it doesn't age well or it looks different in your eyes. It looked kind of like garbage then. I it, it would be better if it didn't look like garbage. I mean, the cinematics were fucking amazing, but we all like, come on, none none of you notice how everybody has boxing glove hands? It's fucking <laughs> ridiculous. 
Like, it, it's a joke, and we, we all know it, and that's fine because that was the thing back in those days. But don't come at me pretending that boxing glove hands are equivalent to the shit and the graphics that we're getting on the remake. And everybody that I've talked to says – and again, I, I understand that's anecdotal, but everybody I've talked to says that they would have liked to turn base. For God's sake, would it would have killed you to appease 20 to 50 percent of your fan base and put it in a turn base? I still love the game. It's awesome, but it's not Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, it is but a that, reimagining of Final Fantasy VII. But I, I hear that argument from Resident Evil fans. They consider over-the-shoulder camera uh, a, an abomination. They they want their old tank controls and cameras. I see that with every game they say that. I don't really think that's the same thing. Why, why not? It's a fundamental change to the game. The game always had a fixed camera, and you were, it had different angles to make it cinematic. All of a sudden, because, Resident Evil 4 threw that out the window, had over-the-shoulder and more action, and every game ramped up the action. 6 okay, was so just you, an action movie. So you'd be fine if Resident Evil all of a sudden gave you all the ammo that you wanted, uh, heavy chain machine guns from the beginning of the um, game, and zombies came in wave in an open-wave public battle royale form. You'd be okay with that, right? That's an apple and oranges comparison. I'm talking no, about and, and, cameras. Yeah, and that's an apple and oranges thing because it's more than just camera. I would be fine. If no, they you're changed... talking about turn base versus real time uh, battle. I, it, it, but right it's the before same that, fucking thing. It's the no, same dude, thing. Hold on. Right before that, I said I would love for them to change the camera in Final Fantasy VII and still reboot it as a uh, turn base because changing the camera is not the same thing. It's changing the entire it it battle. Changes the, it changes the entire way you interact with the game. You it, kidding me? Try to aim. Go pl go play Resident Evil One and try to aim at something when you're looking at yourself, and the thing you're seeing is off screen and down the hall. And now and then play and then play Resident Evil Two Remake where you could see the thing down the hall, right over I, your shoulder. I still don't count that as a, as equivalent as an entire combat overall. You literally changed the genre of the game. It yeah, is no uh, longer exactly, a turn-based exactly. RPG. It's now a hack. So, so, um, so, so Final, Fantasy, Final Fantasy now approaches Kingdom Hearts instead of being like it used to. Okay, so so you'd be fine again if the next Resident Evil weren't a horror game in any way. It was just an action game, an over-the-top action. If it turned into Gears of Five, they did that already. Oh, it's called, just, it's called that Resident that Evil they Five they and it's Six. Called Resident Evil Six, yeah. <laughs> yeah but, and it, that is literally it's literally Gears of Resident Evil. That's what that game is. But it didn't it didn't do well because of it. They took it too far, right? They went too far down in that direction. Why? And mostly because of the movies, right? The, Jap Dude. the Japanese actually loved the the um. Resident Evil the movies, West yeah. The West movies, yeah. yeah. I believe that, but like, here's the thing. I, the name Final Fantasy has gotten enough people to buy this game, and like, yeah, it's not that you're stealing one. I will still play it. I will still enjoy it. But would I have preferred it be uh, it tried to the original? Absolutely. Do I think it's right for people to call something a remake and then change a bunch of stuff? No, I don't. Well, it's a reimagining. Should, it's a reboot. Okay, well... I'll, I could see that. They should have just called it Final Fantasy VII, just like Sony called God, God of War, God of War. But with God of War, it's different because that's like a soft reboot of Kratos. Like They still acknowledge all, everything happened to him. All those games happened. But if you think about the game, looking at it, it's like a soft reboot. Now, they could have just called this Final Fantasy VII and said, this is now Final Fantasy VII. I actually would have been okay with that. More okay with that than call it. All right. And well, I would, I would agree with you that that would have been more honest. Just call it just say this is Final Fantasy Seven, right? Okay, because they, uh, like I said, I compared it to the Abrams movies. Because what did he call the the first movie? Star Trek. Bam. Yeah. He didn't say Star Trek remake. He didn't say Star Trek. Blah 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 blah. No, this is Star Trek. And we're moving forward, and this is it. Yeah, so, okay. as much as I love the new Star Trek, and I don't honestly like the old show, I totally get it. Because the movies are not like the like if you like the old Star Trek, you're probably not gonna like the movies. Yeah, well, they're totally, well, I, completely I, I, I do, but he, you know, I, I'm I'm a little different because I realize that you cannot sit like somebody under 20, sit them in front of the motion picture and ask them not to fall asleep to that fucking movie, right? <laughs> it, That's right. It's mm -hmm. the most boring shit ever. It's like 2001: <laughs> A Space Odyssey. They're like, hey, let's make that now in 1979. No, no, no then nobody wants that. They I mean, want to see fucking Trek. phasers and explosions and aliens and fucking people punching and choking each other. That's what they want, and they, that's what they got, you know? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So so and uh, and I think that's what Square thought like people wanted out there. Well, maybe they're taking too many liberties and I don't know. I didn't play the the new one. So I don't know all the changes they make. I don't Again, know what they will change. Check out the spoiler yeah. alert for you okay, know when you yeah. beat it and you know what we yeah. get into all of that, man. Yeah. And yeah, I definitely would say if 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 you are listening and you and you have beat the game, then then listen to the spoiler cast and and, and listen to the breakdown. But Oh, uh, with it, this is episodic, right? They're going to continue. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah. There's going to be uh, his, uh, in 2020. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to say. I, here's the thing. I'm just going to say this is not a spoiler. I understand why there's no number after this. That's what I'm going to say. It's not really episodic anymore. Uh-huh. That's all I'm going to say about that. You know, right. take that how you will. You know. Okay. Anyway, I think we've talked enough about that. Let's move on, man. Oh man. Actually, no. This is still on. You know, ske- uh, we'll answer this quick. Can I? Uh, can this I this is this from Sketch Work. Yeah, go ahead. Because this is another. This is a question for Brett from Sketch. But go ahead, Carlos. I, uh, yo, man. Like in, in a couple of weeks. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh man! All right, Brett. This one's specifically for you. Did a lot of people want Final Fantasy VII? to have turn-based combat how many people that did not play the original are clamoring for turn-based uh not many um i i will concede the point that turn-based is probably a thing that's not in huge demand my point is i don't think the public is averse to it like everybody thinks that it's you know people are going to see the game and be like it's turn-based and they're not going to buy it and i don't think that's the case no, I think po- Pokemon is turn-based. That look how much that sells. Po- uh, Persona, another one, not as big as Final Fantasy. That's turn-based. People love that shit. Yeah. So there's definitely a market for turn-based. There, you know, it's up there. But I'm so, just saying, and Brett, I think you could agree too. It's like if you want general audiences, the biggest audience, turn-based is not the way to go. Uh, Pokemon I fans aside, I, Pokemon fans aside, because I, I disagree you know. because it's not the gameplay that's ever been the true star here it's the story it is the hype around that is the fact that any gamer you ask will tell you one of the greatest games of all time was final fantasy 7 it was its notoriety its name and its story that was going to drive it to be a critical success no matter what the combat sequence is the combat sequence could have been a fucking card game and yeah it would have still sold but, but no you got to see it through the eyes of a person oh, who's, who's never you got to see it through the eyes of a person who's playing this in 2020 who's never played final fantasy 7 who's never played any final fantasy who's never played any rpg period you really think the average gamer would be okay with turn-based versus action-based? I think they'd be willing to to give it a shot for Final Fantasy VII the same way. And it's, it's, but they don't know. They don't know anything. They'd have no connection to Final Fantasy at all. Period. Just a regular Dude, gamer. Yeah. You know. Can I? Put, Pokemon can I, is still it's still turn-based. It's yeah. not like people run. No, for no. It. And I and I conceded that a couple of weeks ago. But a so couple yes, weeks, a yes, couple I think, of weeks at the same it, time. I think it would have sold just as well if it were turn-based. Yeah. I think it would have sold just as well. And I think, right. I think consumers would have tried it. It's not a hard system to grasp. I got it when I was like nine. They would have figured it out, and it would have gone on from there. It's not that intimidating. It's not that bad. It, one of the greatest, again, Pokemon, one of the greatest games. It, like, it runs off its notoriety. It doesn't necessarily run off its battle system, although it's known. And you could even say like it's like a grown-up, evolved version of Pokemon. Like People wouldn't have shied away, man. It wouldn't have stopped this game from selling, even with younger audience. Yeah. All right. I guess we just agree to disagree. I know you don't like that phrase, but I well, no, completely disagree with that. No, but, I, yeah, I think yeah. I think I think you're both kind of right. Um, like Brett, like Brett's point where he says Final Fantasy VII will sell on its name and its story, and it'll be a big hit whether it's turn based or not. And I think all of us can agree with that. Oh, that's uh, that's up, But I'm talking about like if you want to capture the mass audience, bro. Go ahead, call yeah, us about Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's the, the splitting hairs thing. Like the the the. The point that Brett makes, saying that it'll sell just as well, I think is not like I don't think that's I don't agree with that point. Um, just because, like what Tony mentioned, I think it has a a higher ceiling when it's not turn based because it's more accessible to more people. But like, it does it matter? Like, it like does it want to be, you know, like to the masses? Like, you know, like a Call of Duty game kind of is. I don't, I don't know. But Actually, they, I, I think it is. I think the reason they completely remade this from scratch is because they're trying to get as much money as possible. Because if they would have just took the old game, and by the way, this is what um, I would have wanted. If they just would have took the old game, just give it newer graphics and stuff, that would not have sold as well as this one is. You know, like if you want to, if you, yeah. you want to get the, the yeah. mass audiences, you need to co- redo the whole let, thing from scratch. Yeah, like 15. Okay, exactly. Well, well, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me ask you this then, yeah. okay? Because we all act like this turned into Devil May Cry. 
it didn't. It is still tactical. You still have to judge your ATB gods. You still have to know your limit break. You still have to stack your materia, right? Like, it is not a full-fledged hack No, it's not. It lands somewhere. I know. Yeah. Let me finish. It lands somewhere in between. And that place that it lands is no weirder or e or e more easily accessible than the original turn based thing. You like it's not a it's not like people would have seen the original turn based like oh it's too complicated. The current combat system makes no goddamn sense. Why do I have to swing my sword enough times to get enough energy to make a move? That makes no goddamn sense. I've been watching Morgan Morgan and it's been brilliant because he never got to play the original. So I've been watching him play this, out and watching through the eyes of a noob, and it's been amazing because he's been like, "Why the fuck does it do this? Why, why, why does it do this?" And I put it in the audio because I want to play it in classic mode because he wants to play it in classic mode. But he's like, every time I do that, all they do is fucking stand around there and block, and it doesn't fill up their ATP gauge. It doesn't work the way that it's supposed to. So to stand there and take a bunch of damage because everybody is too retarded to do anything but stand there and block for their <laughs> ATP gauge to go up. And it, it just it doesn't work. This whole system makes no sense to me. Why does it do this? Can you please explain this to me? And I'm like, bro, it didn't work that way for me. Like that's not how that's not how they did it back in the day. It um, is confusing and weird. It is not like it's you guys act like it's just no no easy no, no 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 no. I, actually, I don't. I'm, you know, I think Carlos maybe said. Uh, did you say easy? I didn't say. It. Here's what I'm gonna say. No, I didn't say shit. It, okay, but it, but Brett, it goes. And I always say this: it's all about perception. Just because of the fact that you can control your character in real time, that matters to a lot of people. But if they're stuck in one place, they can't do shit. They're gonna get pissed off. That's what my is, point. What is, you know? what is Persona is, really what is, Yes, but Persona is, doesn't sell as well as Final Fantasy does, what man. Square, what is Square Enix's most power, uh, most popular friend, uh, um, <laughs> of, um, action RPG franchise? Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. And what is this game? That's Pretty much Kingdom literally Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Yes, yes. That's true. That, is, isn't that what I said? Yep, was, yeah, 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 yeah. Close yeah. To that. And that's yeah. what they did. They took the, they took the, the the flashy things of of you know you know what you of what everybody imagines of what a Final Fantasy seven modern would look like, and took Kingdom Hearts and put it in it. Gee, and if only there were a is, game. And who is and who is the main guy of this game and the Kingdom Hearts? Franchise? Nomura, yeah, Tetsuya no. Nomura. Yeah, and why did they get Nomura? Because that guy made a franchise. By the way, Final Fantasy uh, Kingdom Hearts three one of the best selling games of last year. You know, if only they made a game that had an open combat system and included Final Fantasy characters. Oh wait, it's called Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, that's pretty much it, dude. They they saw Kingdom yeah. Hearts like we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that just with Final Fantasy. You know. Yeah, and okay, so you can understand my frustration as no, a I fan understand. No, I understand. No, I understand. Kingdom yeah. Hearts. And yeah. remember the canceled and the in the canceled um um Final uh, Final Fantasy fifteen game versus thirteen versus, versus thirteen. That's Tetsuya Nomura, yeah. Kingdom Hearts, uh, Kingdom Hearts fighting style, same thing. Yeah, no, but Brett, you know, it all comes down to you're frustrated that you didn't get the kind of remake you got, which is understandable. I get that, but at the same time, you can't really do anything about that anymore. It is what it is. So you can either take it or leave it, and you know well, that's just no, it. it. Is, this yeah. is the thing. It's only it's only it is what it is because we're just like oh, I guess. Like, do you think when they reprint Treasure Island, they change the story? No. No, because Treasure Island wasn't a big, super, ultra, mega selling game. They're not going to like alienate their, their little niche For audience, the time, you know? Yeah. Yes, it was. On the level of like even Final Fantasies and For stuff. For the like, time? Really? Beyond that. Yes, dude. They taught it in schools. Literally everybody in the country read that fucking story. Way more per capita than people who have played Final Fantasy. Well, are you talking about a story that we're reading or a game we're playing, bro? Like, you're confusing I me right now. Like I'm you're talking, talking about, about Treasure you're, Island. Let me talk about the book, story. Treasure Island. Oh, okay, book. I'm a, okay, I thought you were talking about Monkey Island, a video game. Like, just compare games to games, please. You're confusing me over here, you know? I'm, I'm saying, just because you re-release something, like, the original language of Treasure Island was written in a, a dialect of English, American English, that sounds weird to our ears. You go back and read the original writing for uh, Huck Finn, and it is it sounds weird. It's hard to read. Yeah, yeah. well, that that's... That's different, Brett. Like, you know, with the bridge editions of books or when they change the language and whatnot, they're trying to stay authentic, but like, oh, we need to modernize the language because these words don't exist and nobody understands what this says. But if you're talking about a reprint, you, you'd have to say, like, that would be the equivalent of Square taking the code from fi the original Final Fantasy VII, recompiling it for, for the PS4, pressing a new disc and going here. 
no, no, I'm talking about the abridged. Like, like you said, um, just updating the language and releasing it in authentic fashion. And in a video game, the language is visual language. So, all right. So you're, really you're, like you're saying like, throw, so throw out the visuals of the PS1 game. You say they're ugly. Reskin that whole game, oh, top to bottom. Reskin the whole game, but keep everything else. Right? Is that what you're saying? I uh, not even necessarily reskin. You can rebuild it. You can do a little extra side stuff. You can change the camera angle. Just stay faithful and authentic to the original. That's that's the thing I'm asking. And I don't feel that while they kept faithful to the story, I don't think they kept faithful in any way for the combat. I'm not even saying you need to completely switch it. Just give the fuck. I'd buy it as a DLC. Just give me the option, man. Yeah. Like at least pay some fan service for the people that had been cuz you think the people like and I understand that you make money and I understand money rules the fucking world and everything like that to other people. There are a few good people out there who don't but the, the money rules the world but for Christ's sake you're going to pander to the fans who don't even know they want this game instead of the people who have been supporting you and screaming from the rafters for 20 oh. years. <laughs> well, that, that that's not shocking what's so like the least like that shit happens all the fucking time i know and it's always bullshit this is no exception yeah anyway i don't know more because i'm bored of this already so uh next <laughs> let's get to the next question man johnny w uppercut man so but before his first question he goes hello throwdown crew thank you guys for all the great videos appreciate that man he, he also says i want he also says i want to give my condolences to emilio and adam i'm gonna throw this one to you two and their families for their loss oh thanks a lot man you know oh, by the way i i, I do want to give a and many you could do this too obviously but uh you know i want to give a shout out to all the fans that have been listening to us that have donated to the gofundme that's really cool like seeing you know because you can see all the list of people that know you. it's so cool but, oh yeah they listen to us, they listen to us. that is so cool man mm -hmm. thank you yeah, so thank you, thank you so much for your help guys it's just it's just been a crazy time and you know it, it, obviously you know the, the passing of my mom is a huge devastating thing to to our family and that's i'm so glad that you you know you 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 know you, you can help help us out with this thank you yeah you guys are the best man thank you so much all right man let us move to his first question which is um, Brett, I think he he's taking something from you. Am I the only one? <laughs> Am I the only one surprised? <laughs> Am I the only one surprised that there hasn't been any news about Xbox Game Pass having an uptake in subscriptions? Apparently, Go you know, Goose in the comments said that there actually has been an uptake in subscriptions since the beginning of the year. So people have been, you know, getting it. You know, Game Xbox Game Pass. So that answers that, <laughs> you know, there has been an uptick just, um, you know, I guess you don't hear it in the news too often or whatever, but it's, it, you know, at least what Goose said, at least since January, it's been going up. Well, it, like it said, like it doubled. It doubled. Oh, wow. Damn. That's crazy. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah so, was... so the market's reacting well to Microsoft strategy. I mean, I'm starting to think that no matter how much we hang on, one day we're just going to be like, I'm old. I like physical discs. Yeah, right. Oh, by the way, Brett, remember how we were talking about how the Switch is like sold out everywhere? Yeah. Same thing just happened to PS4. Sold out everywhere now. Can't buy one. Oof. People uh, want their games, man. Like if you're stuck at home, video game console is perfect, you know. Yeah. If, if only there was a highly anticipated game you could have released. Oh, right. Shit. Oh shit. Jesus. Oh man. Yeah. All right. So we answered that one pretty fast. So moving on to the next one. This one's kind of interesting. Which okay? Are there any games that started with a dev developer or publisher that became better? Once the game switched hands to a different developer or publisher, he, he goes, as an example, there are people out there who would say the f later Far Cry games are better than the ones from Crytek. So, yeah, w what games or f games have you know started out with one publisher, they switched hands to another one or developer, and they got better because of that? Um, I This is the first game that came into mind, but to be fair, I played, like, uh, I like I barely like scratched the surface with with this like the the first game, and that's Fallout. Like Fallout mm -hmm. Three is like one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, don't say that to Brett, bro. Why do you always steal my answer? <laughs> oh, oh really? Oh, 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 oh <laughs> yeah, I hate I hate to give that answer. You hate you hate the interplay ones. The, no, I the, love them, but but three was revolutionary, and seeing what they did with Outer Worlds, I know it's in better hands with Bethesda. 
Fallout 3 for me, like, gave me, like, it's like the way to, and everyone's had this moment. Like, if you guys, like, remember playing GTA 3 for the first time? That's going to be another one. Oh, no, they didn't change. They didn't, well, they didn't, didn't change developers. Um, that was, that was yeah, so like, awesome. Okay. Well, yeah, but, like, it's like, whenever you play GTA 3 for the first time and you're like, man, this is, like, if you, it just fucking felt revolutionary. That's how I felt with Fallout 3. And,. So yeah, that's that's my like the first thing that comes to my mind when I when I thought of that question. Yeah, this is a tough one. Like, I wanted to say um, when, when Crystal Dynamics took over Tomb Raider, they made it better than the Idols, but the Idols games were the at least the later ones were pretty good. Like, there was some kind of bullshit in Tomb Raider games in the middle, like after two. Um, but like Tomb Raider Underworld, I know a lot of people didn't like it. I thought it was great, you know. But those Crystal Dynamics games were pretty dope. So, yes, you know what? I'm going to just go with that just because I can't think of anything else at the moment, you know? So, yeah. Um, and it's funny because Crystal Dynamics and Eidos are both under Square Enix. So, you know, take that how you will, you know? So, yeah, the Tomb Raider franchise for me. Uh, God, I don't have a good it's a, This is a tough one. This is a tough one. A, I like this question. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't really think of anything. Else. I mean, there's games, like, you know, I've played, like, the, the next iteration once when it's moved on to another company. I don't know. Adam, can you think of anything, man? No. Uh, I was thinking the same thing about the Bethesda with the Fallout because that's the one that comes fresh in my mind because I did that preview for the Wastelands 3 and yeah. most of that team was the the, the, the original. But it, besides that, I can't really think of anything. Here's an interesting one. GZ Dar says uh, Rockstar, um, their version of Max Payne taking over from remedy what do you guys think about that as an answer because people like the remedy games though you know i, I like i like they, both of them but yeah I, they're I, both fine yeah. and i like I, I like i like you know the remedy games and i like the the other ones but i don't i can't i i can't i, I really don't think that even though i really liked max pain 3 i don't really think of it as being any better than no. you know better it just yeah, had, no, it had more production value on it like it was very yeah. cinematic like it's it's like thinking about the like the, you know the gears of you know the gears of war franchise before, and then like after it was taken and, then with the, and yeah, then it was taken over by those the new guys. I, can I, I give you, can I give you guys an answer that's way too cheap for you guys to accept it as an answer? Damn! All right. Go for okay. it. Spider Man. Oh, <laughs> you mean from yeah. um from Activision what, to Art? Sony? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, so that, like, that actually is a nice cheap answer, yeah. <laughs> to be honest. It is, it, is a, it, is a, it is a pretty cheap answer. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean you could just literally say that this, that the new um, PlayStation 4 Spider-Man is like a better version of the... the, the Activision Spider-Man one. 2. The, yeah. uh, the Treyarch. Spider-Man 2. Yeah, it's, a cheap, it's cheap but accurate, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I uh, can't argue with it. Oh, Red Dead is an example. <laughs> I was oh. gonna say, Manny, you don't have to ca- catch balloons anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <I've been in. laughs> oh, Manny, 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 what do you think about that? Uh, Rockstar yeah. taking taking Red Dead from Capcom and made it better. What do you think about that? I mean, it's. I mean, to be honest, like I wouldn't have re- the original Red Dead. I was or- or- originally interested in the original Red Dead, and I wouldn't have got it if it hadn't had been kind of rejiggered through Rockstar. So I don't. I don't. It's a weird one, like taking over a franchise that was already sort of in the making. I mean, the game, if if they did, if they didn't grab it when they bought that one studio, Red Dead wouldn't even exist. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I, but that does qualify as an answer, though. Like Rockstar, did, I feel at least you know, I, I know the first one had its charms over the Red Dead Revolver, but I think it did did it make it a better franchise, you know. Uh, even I though, it's, let's just be honest, though, even though Red Red Dead is just it's GTA with horses, you know, but it's still I mean, awesome. Yeah, like the original one had that sort of rock star writing, but it wasn't a rock star game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like if you took if you took kind of an arcadey game and decided to throw like a like rock star like aesthetics on top of it. I, I really even under the, the same franchise. I don't really consider them the same games anymore. Yeah, yeah, they're different. Red Dead Revolver to Red Dead Redemption. It's like it's like the you know it's like what happened with um what's with um <clears throat> the Legacy of Kane. Yeah, Legacy of Kane officially wasn't 
have, having went through all this this stuff. Officially, Soul Reaver was not even supposed to be a Legacy of Kane game until mm-hmm. it got until until they until they pulled it into that next location. Yeah. I mean, but that stayed under the same umbrella. But that is a good example, though. It stayed under the same umbrella, and a lot of the same people. But it's a good a example of, of it, yeah, of how it changed. A lot of things that yeah. pulled it into different directions and sort of separated it. Yeah. So I, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah. you could also probably put Soul, Soul Legacy of Cain together. <laughs> I, I mean, I can only think of one thing. I did like when Iron Galaxy had to pick up. Killer Instinct from Double Helix after they got bought by Amazon. They actually made they made some huge improvements on the the, the game, you know. And, but it, it's a weird thing because they didn't make another game, right? They just had to to take it over because Double Helix got purchased. So it was weird. But they they did a lot of stuff with that game. Added a lot of characters. Added a lot of modes. It was, it was it was it was a nice enhancement. Those are things I don't think Double Helix might have added on to the game themselves. Yeah. All right. Next question is from Matt Wheaton. So, uh, by the way, he asked us about the Poly Mega Retro Console. We talked about that before. We a- answered that question. He also asked us what are some of our favorite stories of games. We've answered that before too, but this one we have not. What are your favorite old school video game companies? He's talking about Capcom, Konami, Hudson, Squaresoft. Yeah, those are good answers. Uh, I, got, <laughs> you know? I, got the, I got the easy one. What's the easy one? Rare. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's always that part of me. I was like, yo, what's going on with Rare? It's like, oh, yeah, wait, they're still around. <laughs> they did see a thieves, you know? Man, uh, yeah, Cap- was, yeah. Yeah, Rare was awesome. Man. They're they they were the top of the game, man. Uh, yeah, you guys already know my favorite cap. You know, was Capcom. Capcom was the fucking shit. Capcom and Konami, like, and Square, and even you know, even though I was not a, a fan of Square at the time, like those three companies, they could do no wrong back then, man. Every everything was almost gold, especially from Square. They were just dropping bombs all the time, you know, like good bombs, thermonuclear bombs, you Square, know. Squaresoft, yeah. Yeah, Squaresoft, yeah. But yeah, for me, Capcom, baby. All any Capcom game was fucking dope back then. You know, uh, I mean, this is also. I mean, uh, for me, it's you know, um, the big three for me is Konami, um, uh, Capcom, and SquareSoft. That was the that was the ones. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> by the way, I we, we we can't also forget the first party, my beloved Sega. Got it. Can't forget that Sega was those games, man. Mm. I mean, it's 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 weird to say like all these companies still sort of exist nowadays. Yeah, but not the way they used to be. Yeah, not the yeah no, they're very different iterations now. You know, can, can we even possibly say that some of the people that have run these places or made? I mean, definitely the guys that made the, the the classic games that we remember. A lot of those guys are gone. Yeah, treasures another dope one from back in the day. You know. For for me, you know, my favorite is always a uh, Guardian Heroes. You know, uh, Adam, what about your favorite old school game developers? Oh, damn, I was gonna say something else, but yeah, it's, uh, Konami. Yeah, I'll man, be Konami because you know, hell, oh, even the Ninja Turtle that had my army. They, you know? they brought us a lot of those great games, those arcade games, oh, them up games. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Adam, I want to say one thing. You know what's funny? When I played like you know the Super Nintendo Mini or the NES Mini. It was amazing to me how many of those games had the Konami logo in front of it. I'm like, oh shit, Konami, what yeah. happened, man? Konami was killing it back in the day. Murder. So remember, it, yeah. To the point that we know, maybe we talked about where they had to split off and had Ultra. Yeah, Ultra. I remember so Ultra. <laughs> man, Metal yeah. Gear came out through Ultra. Ultra. That's right, yeah, man. Well, well the reason why is because um, Ninja Turtles 2 also came out in Ultra. Stuff, remember Ninja right? Turtles? I was Ultra, you know? Yeah. For Konami, it had to do with the. Uh, they made so many. They had made so many games. They only had a license for a certain amount of games under a specific under their Konami name. So they yeah. made essentially another company <laughs> produce games to them. They're not the only ones to do it, but they're probably. They've in fact, they, um, I think Konami had three subsidiaries that made games for Nintendo. Nintendo. I got a question. Did people actually know this back in the day? Um, you kind of did because there was a couple of things like. 
um, for for Ultra Konami and the other studio. I can't remember the third. There one. was another one, yeah. Um, all of them had the same pause noise, and the 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 logo always made the same noise through all the same games. It made mm. that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, you kind of yeah. it was there in your head. You're like, huh? But you never. <laughs> But it's like it was never said outright. Yeah. No, and, and, the, and, Are you trying to trick me? Yeah. And the main yeah. reason I'm asking that is because I'm wondering, th- this must have happened, right? Some dudes in the in the schoolyard and shit arguing, Ultra's better. No, Konami's better. And then, you know, the guy who knows is in the background like, these dumb motherfuckers, man, if they only it's, knew. It's, it's funny because you never s- thought about that. Yeah. Because no, you, no, you didn't. You thought, every, you thought every single game was made by Nintendo. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's and so right. this day, they still say because, that. Shit. Are you playing that be, Nintendo? Because it kind of was because they were publishing. That's right. Yeah. Them. They were essentially producing their cartridges and they locked down, you know, how many cartridges that each of the companies could put out through them. That's why they had. That's why Konami had to make like three different cell, three different selves. Oh, this is interesting. I didn't know this. Treasure was founded by Konami members, employees. Yeah, former, former former Konami members made that um did Treasure. Yeah. I'm trying to find it because yeah, Ultra. There was another one. I know they had another subsidiary. There was a third one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Any other old school companies? Uh, there was a bunch. I mean, um, there was Tidal. Sunsoft. Taito, man, bringing it back. Yeah, Sunsoft. Yeah, that's Sun- another one. Yeah. The Sunsoft on on PC. There was a uh, Westwood. Were they Studios. Hudson Soft also? Were they, they, they talking about splits? Were that was Hud, Sunsoft and Hudson Soft? Were they both the same? I don't know if they were the same. I remember Sunsoft made the the old school NES Batman games. Yeah, and Konami yeah, did that know. one uh, Batman Returns. That's another Konami game. You know, mm-hmm. that's right? Yeah, yeah. Data um, East play. bringing it back, man. That's another one. Remember Bad Data dudes. East? Yeah, Data East is Double Dragon. You know. Yeah, there was uh, Interplay. Robocop. There was a uh, Tecmo. Oh. Uh, there's um, a few others I, I'm blanking on. Yeah, what are these companies at, man? All right, man. And uh, oh, it's yeah. Sierra. Oh, that's another Sierra one. Sierra games. Yeah. All right, man. Let's move on to the last question of the night, which is a nice and simple one from. Chris R29, uh, Chris Iverson, as he calls himself. That's actually my nephew. Again, shout out to him because of him I was I was able to get that plat and got a war. When he came over last year, he, you know, so thank you for that, brother. He's a big fan of Throwdown as well. And I hear he may be starting up his own gaming thing soon. Yo, so very can cool. Can I ask you a question? Oh, can I ask up? you a personal question, Tony? Yes. Are like half of the half of the people involved in your life that are that are male named Chris? Uh yes. <laughs> you know I asked, right? It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. We got like your yeah. your cousin, your nephew, evil Chris. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's a lot of Chris's, man. It's a lot of Chris's. Side, yeah, but man. back at back in like the nineties, eighties, and nineties, it was like Chris and Mike. You know, it, yep. like those were the big Chris names. And Mike. <laughs> it was crazy, you know. <laughs> and yo, yeah, remember? And if you went to a school like me and Manny, they were mostly Koreans. So every every other guy was named John Kim. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> it's yep. with, they were all John Kim. Yeah, you know, true. it's hilarious, man. Yeah, if you went to in, in Queens in general, you already know Chris. You had to, probably had the same thing, you know. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Oh man. All right. So the last question of the night is: Should Sucker Punch bring back Infamous? Yes, they should. <laughs> That's, That's what I said. That's what I That's said. It's ni- nice and simple, baby. <laughs> you know, Yo, Adam, did you predict this? Or what was, what was Man, I don't know. I, that sent him a message. No, Stradamus. <laughs> 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 you sent me. Yo, you talking to my nephew, son? <laughs> Wait, you got, did you get the email? <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it just made sense. I mean, this was. This is something that a lot of people were expecting, especially when we were seeing all these remakes and remasters or whatever the fuck they want to call them. They just kept spitting them out. <laughs> so we're like, oh, and you're definitely going to give us Infamous, right? And that didn't happen. So that's why I'm like, well, no brainer. If you have nothing really to launch for a new console, have another studio say, hey, here's all the content we have. Can you make it pretty with this shit? Can you do that? And I was like, yeah, okay, we could do it. All right. Cool. Oh, shit, Adam. I see that Streets of Rage back there, brother. Oh, shit. Yo. Scared, oh, yeah. like, Who the fuck behind me? Yeah, yo, Streets of Rage, man. Oh, yeah, by the way, yeah. I'll talk about that later. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. No. yeah. It's going to be good. Be yeah, good. infamous. Yeah, we'll we bring it back, man. Bring it back. All right. Uh, right. We're going to be done here, but a couple of things. Have some announcements to make. 
All right. The first one is, like we said before, check out the Final Fantasy VII remake spoiler alert that I did with some very good friends of mine, Jonathan Gibbs, Gary Swaby, and Ryan Meisler. Two hours of Final Fantasy VII remake talk, and we go heavily into that controversial aspect of it that people are, are talking about. And thankfully, they're not spoiling for people, which is good. So check that out. Really good, fun episode. One of those fun podcasts where it's just focused on one thing. Speaking about focus podcasts, we I I was actually part of two Streets of Rage focus podcasts. One of them was with Chris. We were both on the another rate, you know, retro gaming podcast, the Arg podcast, episode two hundred five. And the first half of it was just us going through gaming news, and then Chris for the last half was just Streets of Rage nostalgia. Man, that was a lot of fun. Yep. So yeah, shout out to uh, David Gilton for having us on. So that episode is up right now over on the ARG podcast, and I believe their Twitter is ARG podcast. Let me check that out real quick. What is their Twitter? Their Twitter is, yeah, literally ARG podcast. So at ARG podcast, episode's up there right now. Check it out if you want to go have a deep dive into Streets of Rage. And at the time of this recording today, I actually recorded a special Streets of Rage focused podcast with my man Danny Pena, who's also a friend of the podcast. That one differs from the one that I did with Chris because we spent about 20% of it talking about Streets of Rage franchise, you know, th- one through three, and the rest of it, Streets of Rage four. Right? So I, you know, I think you guys could guess how were you able to talk about the game if there isn't out yet? You guys can put two and two together. Now, because, you know, the embargo it has not lifted yet, you're going to have to wait until Wednesday at 11 a.m. to hear that. So let's just say everything I've been holding on to for two weeks, I, I let it all out on that podcast, you know. I'm, I'm saying it without saying it, but you think you guys know what I'm saying, yeah, <laughs> you got, know. Yeah, this week's coming, right? It's the 30th. Yeah, man. Mm, that's all I can say about that. So check that out, please. And also, I'm going to put this on right now. This is a little bit of a challenge for all of us. Not really a challenge, but just more like, let's, we got to do this, fellas. Friday, we have to have a Streets of Rage 4 stream. Four of us to get together and just play the shit out of that, man. So we, so expect that on Friday night, you know. Whoever is down, Chris, um, Adam, oh, yeah, and, yeah, whoever, whoever we get in there. Ooh, can't wait. Ugh, it's going to be good. All right, so that's going to do it for us, man. So, so thank you for watching and listening subscribe to throwdown on soundcloud itunes and youtube follow us on twitch twitter and facebook at throwdown show links are located in the description below and as always leave your questions in a throwdown discord server and we'll answer them next time once again our show is tony polanco and tonight's joined by emilio lopez see you later guys and it's always great to be uh, you know here talking with everybody talking about fun stuff games and all kinds of stuff it just makes me feel good my man, Adam Vail. Yeah, man. Everybody, uh, be safe and try to think positive. And uh, we'll get through all this and have good times. And it'll be back to talking all this gaming shit and see who has enough money to buy all this fucking shit that's coming. Five hundred dollars, this six hundred dollars. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you have to take out a loan and shit. That's you know, what I'm saying. yeah, donate blood and shit. <laughs> you know, Brett Murdoch. As always, it's a real party, people. Carlos Romero. Ah, I was wondering what we're going to say. Deuces. <laughs> Your spirit. <laughs> Are you Monday? Oh, man. <laughs> and Chris Seeley. Hey, take care, everyone. All right, man. We'll see you on Thursday later. Uh, uh, t- 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 Tony, 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 Tony. <laughs> <laughs> no, Brian, we're done, man. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Deuces. <laughs> yeah.